and uh, it was tough. In 84, he was red hot. The only way we thought we could get to him is right up the middle. Then you just get incomplete passes. Rarely do you get a sack. But we did get him a couple of times, and it made the difference. Now, this is a barometer for both teams. And uh, for Don Shula, he's hopeful that those eight and eight years that have been plaguing him of late are over, that this team really is much better. What do they have to do? Well, they're much improved offensively, defensively. But they're going to have to complete at least 20 passes, maybe 30. Marino's going to have to get a couple of touchdowns, at least 300 yards, to deal with the ball control of the Giants. And the Giants, as uh, Bill Parcells uh, refers to them, we're a lunch pail team. We'll grind it out in that front seven on defense may as, be as good as anyone in the NFL. It's a great front seven. Problem, they're thin in the secondary. Not terribly talented and also thin. So Marino's going to try to go up top on them. Meanwhile, they're going to try to control the ball on the ground with the Giants. 60 degrees. There's Bill Parcells in his ninth uh, year with the Giants. His eight seasons here have produced a Super Bowl championship, and there has been comment that this could be his last. You heard that from Will McDonough on NFL Live earlier this year. And Don Shula, well, he's just 39 wins away from being the winningest coach in the history of the National Football League, passing the immortal George Hallis, who recorded 325 wins. The Dolphins kick it off. Stojanovic hits it high and spins it into the end zone. And the Giants' Dave Mega takes it out. He gets to the 17, the 18-yard line, and a flag is down. Tackle made by veteran E.J. Jr. Jerry Markbride is the referee. wind is starting to pick up here. If it's behind Marino, he's fine. But going into it, there will be problems down the field. Having trouble with Bill's microphone, so let's just set Illegal the defense as they foul. mark off the penalty Number 43, against the Giants, and we'll take it back to the nine-yard line, and Bill Sims will operate from there. John Elliott, William Roberts, Bart Oates, Eric Moore, and Doug Riesenberg, the offensive line in front of Sims. Odessa Turner, Otis Anderson, the veteran, Maurice Carthen, the blocking fullback, Mark Ingram, and Mark Bavaro, the tight end. When they go to the load, they bring in a second tight end along with Carthen. They line all three on one side. Got it right here. And there's their load. Three big blockers on one side. The ball's coming right in behind them. Otis Anderson started toward those men and then cuts back inside to the 15-yard line. The Miami Dolphins defense, their base defense for Don Shula, reads this way. T.J. Turner, the rookie from Houston, Oglesby on the nose. Jeff Cross had 10 sacks last year. Griggs offered all. Odom and Green, the linebackers. The back four from Miami, McKayer acquired from the 49ers, J.B. Brown, Jarvis Williams, and Lewis Oliver, two young, tough, big safety men. The strength of the defense, perhaps, for Miami. Look for... The Giants to just take it right at Miami and see if they can handle it physically. Second Do they go again? Four, it's Anderson again. And O.J. gets close to the first down at the 19-yard line. J.B. Brown and Lewis Oliver coming up from the secondary to make the tackle. Much improved uh, Dolphin defense, but five new starters. Only two games into the season. Really not sure that all five will hold up in a 16-game schedule, especially against a team like the Giants that just take it to you relentless. Defensive coordinator Tom Olivadotti. He's pleased with what he's seen the first two games as Miami beat New England, rallying 27-24, and then took Buffalo apart 30-7 last weekend at Joe Robbie. First down, Anderson gets hit in the backfield with Jeff Cross, number 91, knifing in. Cross, who has just signed a new contract, so he's a much happier athlete. Last year, led the Dolphins with 10 sacks. He's the critical defensive player. Uh, both coaches acknowledge that this one man can make a difference, at least to his side of the line of scrimmage, and then also as a pass rusher. Between Orferdahl and Cross, this is Miami's true strength. Cross. Three-year veteran from Missouri, 6'4 and 272. Two-yard loss on the play. Sims' first throw to Bavaro, and he is hit hard. Stays on his feet and pushed back by the second wave as Jarvis Williams came up from the secondary and Cliff Odom collaborated on the hit. The quiet man, Bavaro, says very little, but does he play big? And coming back from that knee surgery last week, five big catches at Dallas. In this case, he'll push off, really push off Overdahl. You see him at the right of the screen, then sliding away and catching the ball. Now, if he'd have used his hands at all, they would have called offensive pass interference. Big man, 
driving to the linebacker, sliding away. And that dimension is really critical to this giant team because they're a running team and a ball control team. Bavaro, the kind of guy that says hello at the start of the season, goodbye at the end, and not much in between. It's third and five underneath, incomplete, and almost caught on the ricochet as downfield was Odessa Turner. With, went through the hands of Stephen Baker incomplete. So the Giants pick up one first down, and now Sean Landetta, the all NFL kicker for the Giants, comes in to punt. Dropping back is Tony Martin. Uh, Phil Sims took a little time there, waiting for that crossing receiver, and Cross was getting close. So they're going to have to handle Cross, but Phil's going to be able to take time to throw that ball. Long count being used by Landetta. A wobbly kick. Martin to the 28 and brought down by Rene Thompson, the former Dolphin. Parcells calls Thompson the best special teams player he's ever coached. He delivers on the first chance. To introduce Isuzu's new rodeo, we've placed it and Toyota's 4Runner in this campground to see which is better for family fun. Sure, the rodeo has more horsepower and rear anti-locking brakes, but another key difference is that only the rodeo seats six. So, combined with its price, thousands less than Forerunner, we see that only in a rodeo, no one gets stung. The new Isuzu Rodeo. At just $12,499, there's no comparison. You know, I love coming to the park with Air Major. Because there's nothing better than spending a little time with man's two best friends. His dog and his beer. Miller Lite, the less filling beer that really tastes great. What's this? That's mine. Bad doggy. Miller Lite, where less filling really tastes great. And winds northwest of 30 knots gusting to 45 knots. Rain expected to continue till 10 p.m. I just predicted in the 7th County area. Skyline across the Hudson, one of the great cities in the world, and a crowd of 76,000. Now we'll see Miami put it in play for the first time. Take a look at Dan Marino and the Miami offense as they break huddle. Mark Clayton to the left and Jim Jensen, who signed late with Miami, still produced as did Taylor in the first game. And it's Jensen in motion. The give is to Tony Page, the former New York Jet and Detroit Lion, is across the 30-yard line, a gain of about three. Carl Banks made the tackle. Richmond Webb and Keith Sims, two rookies, Texas A&M and Iowa State. Now the left side of the Miami line, Yulene Galbraith and Dennis, very young front five. Marino has Page and Sammy Smith, who leads the NFL in rushing after two weeks. The Mark boys, Zuper and Clayton on the outside. Edmonds the tight end when they leave the base offense, go to the wide sets. Jim Jensen comes in along with Martin and Fred Banks, the extra wide receivers. Second and seven. Not much there from Mark Logan. Planned the acquisition a year ago from the Cincinnati Bengals. Eric Howard, underrated nose tackle for the Giants, made the hit. Number 74, he's there with Dorsey and Washington, the front three. And that tough quartet of linebackers, Banks, Diasi, Johnson, and Taylor. The back four of Renee Thompson, Everson Walls, the former Cowboy, Greg Jackson, and Myron Guyton. If there is a soft spot, it is the secondary, especially with Mark Collins, cornerback placed on the injured list. He'll be out for four weeks, three games. There's a bye in the four. Third down and three. Quick toss, incomplete to Jensen. Well covered by Lawrence Taylor. Taylor standing up on the outside with Banks on the other side. Two linebackers, basically as pass rushers. You'll see them standing up, ready to blitz one or the other. And uh, both cases, you've got big men coming from the outside. And in this case, uh, Marino had what you call a hot receiver. They weren't going to throw the ball unless that man blitz. Here comes Banks. There's the throw. Banks is so quick, even Marino couldn't throw an accurate pass. 
Reggie Roby averaged 42 plus last year sends a high kick into the wind dying punt that'll take a giant bounce sideways and out of bounds at the 37. So some good yardage picked up on the exchange of punts. No score timeout. From the Far East to Europe. Across the Caribbean and throughout North America, only one airline covers so much of the world with so much warmth. We love to fly and it the Toyota versus the Isuzu standard pickup. If Earth were invaded by giant reptiles, which would be better prepared? Get out of here! Well, first of all, the Isuzu gets better mileage than Toyota. Mm, that's helpful. Plus, it has the biggest payload in its class, so it can carry more. All in all, when the giant lizards come, I'd rather be in an Isuzu. Because it even has more leg room. The Isuzu pickup at just $7,779. There's no comparison. Give the Army Signal Corps 30 minutes, and they can turn a mountaintop into a satellite communication station. Roger, Bravo 2, big cloud clear. Be all the two By ten rolls of pig insulation, R13 or higher, to keep you warm indoors, and get a free NFL coach's sweater to keep you warm outdoors. Offer ends October 14th. During the break, Mark Bavaro, a very valuable talent for the Giants, pass catching on a great blocker, a sprained ankle. You see the shoe in his hand, and here's how it happened. Remember on the reception, he took quite a pop, especially from Jarvis Williams coming up from the secondary on the outside, and apparently had that ankle locked when hit by Odom and Williams. Fortunately, they have Howard Cross and Bob Roscoe to replace him, two solid football players. 37 yard line, no score. Sim sets him up. Anderson behind that big front wall across the 40 gain of about three or four the load formation is basically a power formation with an extra tight end and a blocking back to one side the whole idea is to, to reduce the amount of, of support by the defensive backs consequently they'd have a solid line of blockers no support so everyone's kept on the line of scrimmage then Anderson finds a seam and breaks between it and they'll keep doing that, keep doing that, and sooner or later he'll throw a play pass off it. And you can see Carthen, the fullback, out on the cornerback, Brown, and that's in this match. Bill Parcells loves to keep it on the ground. Mark Ingram in motion, second and six. Screen. Anderson gets a block, 40, 50. First down at the Miami 48. Well, Phil Sims said more screens this year. They had thrown four effective ones in the previous two games. Again, he hides this beautifully. We couldn't even see it coming from upstairs. Those linemen come out very, very late, and here it comes. Up the field, you'll get excellent support by Oliver, but he can't quite make the play. Excellent running also by Anderson in reading those blocks. Otis Anderson, who was the number one pick of the Cardinals back in 79, and rushed for over a thousand with the Giants last year. He's got young legs at 32. Gets the call again. And gains five or six right up the middle. In fact, Bill Parcells calls Otis Anderson. He said, he's our pillow man, our pillow man. He says, yeah, he, the old man, he softens things up for the young guys that I bring in later. Otis, he set a standard. He is tough and he's relentless. 325 carries last year. And this, this guy has played an awful lot of football. NFL Rookie of the Year in 79. It's a long time ago for 325 carries. Second time. Uh, Dick, by the way, that time, again, they're going to be doing the same thing. They're taking the offensive tackles. Uh, Riesenberg and Elliott are taking their men off the line of scrimmage. Yeah, the giant line has really beaten up on that defensive uh, front of Miami so far. You'll see blocks here and here that become very, very important as the game wears on. People driving their man off the line of scrimmage, turning them. You'll see five yards by Riesenberg taking his man off the line of scrimmage. And Turner is one of the better defensive players on this Miami team. So this is what Miami had felt going in. They'd improved, and maybe they have. But at this point, the Giants are still dominating the line of scrimmage. 
Midpoint of the first quarter, no score, but the Giants on the drive. First down now at the Miami 37. This began back at the Giant 37. The low formation. Little misdirection, and Anderson tripped up after a gain of maybe a yard. Well, our first report around the NFL on Sunday number three. Here are the scores. No report in, uh, from Green Bay of any scoring. Chicago has an early field goal lead, as Cincinnati does, against New England. Chargers up early at Cleveland. Dallas, Washington, no score. No gain, second down and 10, and we see the top pick of the Giants, Rodney Hampton, number 27, has replaced Anderson. He's in motion. Look for a pass up the seam. They like to run that man in motion and then throw the ball down the field to the split end. There he is, 83. Otis Odessa Turner brought down at the 29, a couple of yards shy of a first down. J.B. Brown made the tackle for Miami. In that case, they put the halfback in motion to widen the defensive backfield, then slip their man, Odessa, right up the field, and Turner, a fine, medium-level receiver, was there to make the catch. Excellent call, and I'm sure they'd plan that uh, all week. Third down, about a yard and a half. Carthen and Tillman now in the ball game behind Sims. It's Lewis Tillman blasting straight ahead, pushed back with a good tackle inside, but... Make it Carthon and not Tillman. It was Carthon who got the call, and the 225-pound fullback from Arkansas State, who is primarily a blocker, he's the old-fashioned fullback, won't carry often, but Parcells loves him. He said he's just as a good team guy, he's a leader, and loves to block. He has the uh, mentality of an offensive lineman. He's much like the H-back that the Redskins have developed over the years, the Tom Rathman type back, he can really block, and change up for the ball carrier. First down, it's Nugget now behind Sims. Who looks, throws it away. Close enough to Nugget that there's no flag. But Shula knew what Sims was doing. Well, they'd set that play up, Dick. Odessa Turner again is a tight, weak side end with a back in motion outside him. Ran a seam pattern up the field and was open, but Phil Sims looked late and wanted to throw it, but it was just a little bit late, so he held the ball and threw it away. And there was some credit for Phil for throwing it away, but uh, he should have uh, he should have seen that just to count earlier. It was there. Shula still barking for a foul. None called. It's second and ten. Believe me, Dick Shula has an impression on officials. He'll bark until he gets something. Backs into the pattern, and it goes to Hampton. Tackled immediately at the 22-yard line by Cliff Odom. Rodney Hampton, they feel he's the best running back as a receiver that they've had here in the last 10 years. Uh, Phil Sims really likes, he says he's the best receiver he's had, best all-around back. Now, he'll come through the line of scrimmage, then cross the field and lose his coverage man uh, very quickly, but there's a recovery from that standpoint. There he's crossing the field. There's your pinpointed play. Excellent ball control kind of offense by the Giants. Running, staying with a big lineman, and then picking them apart with short passing. Out of the shotgun on third and five. Sims likes to scramble. He's close to the first down at the 17. It'll depend on the spot. Terry Glenn made the tackle, and Don Schiller was worried about that, that Sims does like to tuck it away. It's just short of a first down. Uh, Tom Olivadi, the coordinator said third and three and four they've got to concentrate on Sims because he knows when to run and when he can get it. I guess he just missed on it. They spot it back at the 18 yard line and Bill Parcells to the delight of the Giants fans is not going to kick the field goal fourth and one. Well he had luck with Carthon just a moment ago. Probably go to it again. No, it's O.J. Anderson. He didn't need much. It'll depend on the spot. John Offerdahl came up to fill the hole for Miami, and he isn't up yet. Excellent call. Sims reversed out, faked to Carlton, then handed the ball to Anderson on the other side, and that may have been the difference. Excellent design in the play. Of course, Sims has got two good solid short yardage runners in Carthon and Anderson. 
Giants led the league last year in fourth down efficiency. They made 17 out of 22. Did they make this one? Just enough. And this is what Don Shula doesn't want. Because not only are the Giants moving the ball, but they're consuming time off the clock. So they get field position and consume time. Sooner, sooner or later, they'll win sort of a battle of attrition. Plus, they keep Marino on the high-powered offense on the sidelines. Lewis Tillman. He showed his slashing style against the Cowboys last week when he had a career-high 71 yards. He broke Walter Payton's career rushing record at Jackson State. Mark Bavaro, we're pleased to report, was in the lineup on that last play, but he limps off now. So that ankle injury, while it's bothering Bavaro, not so serious that uh, he's back in the locker room. Unlikely he'll come back this time. My guess is they tried to numb that pain, and it really isn't working. He's going to have to rest and ice that thing down. Oops, Miami was offside. Carthen bowling his way close to the five-yard line. The Dolphins are depending heavily on Lewis Oliver and Jarvis Williams to come out of that secondary and make stops close to the line. Oliver made the stop, but way too late. Offside Miami is the call, but uh, the Giants may have the first down on Carthens carry. So Mark Bright now will measure off the five yards for the penalty. It'll take it just about to where Carthon advanced the ball. Offside, defense, penalty decline, first down. So they'll give Carthen the five yards to his rushing total. First and goal at the six yard line. 2 34 3. The clock running is Bill Parcells' offense just the way he designed it. Keep the ball on the ground, low risk. Use that offensive line to beat up on that defense. Chew up the clock and keep uh, Marino and Miami on the sidelines. Phil Sims not happy with the call that came in, so a timeout is called. 2-19 remaining in the first quarter. Ah, we're here on Easter Island to introduce the monumental new Isuzu Stylus. How does it compare to the Toyota Camry? Let's see what the gods think. The stylus, with its Lotus-tuned suspension, handles better and is just as roomy. Yet the Toyota costs hundreds more. The gods aren't too crazy about that. The new Isuzu Stylus. At just $11,299, there's no comparison. In these uncertain times, the intelligent investor focuses on current trends, watches the economic indicators, analyzes the various business sectors, developing keen insights before making a single move on Wall Street. On the other hand, the extremely intelligent investor has someone else help him do it. Prudential Beige Securities, rock solid market wise. Walk into a television showroom and someone will probably try to sell you a set with a foreign name on it. Before you see their choice, ask to see yours. Ask to see the first TVs that combine digital video and audio with a performance to back it up. Ask for picture in picture with triple flashback. Ask for a single remote that can learn to run everything. Ask to see a Zenith. For true innovation in television, quality never looked more like a Zenith. NBC Sports coverage of the National Football League is brought to you by America's favorite light beer, Miller Lite, the sole sponsor of the NFL Player of the Year Award. By Levi's 505, 506, and 540 jeans. And by Isuzu. For features, styling, and price, there's no comparison. Minutes on this drive. Four. Started back at the 37. Clock down to nearly two minutes remaining in the first quarter. Marino may see almost this entire first quarter go by, and all he had was three offensive plays and a punt. Problem with that, not only is it uh, is are they controlling the ball and 
ultimately may score here, but when Marino takes over again, the coaches and Marino are going to have to come to the conclusion quickly we'd better throw because we may not get that many chances. We're going to have to come back now and start throwing the ball, even though we prefer to run. Because obviously, the Giants can control it at this point. William Roberts, 66, an eligible receiver. It's Anderson trying the center of that line and uh, attracts nine Dolphin tacklers at about the two. What a critical down this will be because my guess would be that uh, Bill Parcells would kick the field goal if uh, they don't get in. And field goals, the Dolphins can deal with because of Marino's passing. The touchdowns are tough to overcome. Lewis Tillman comes in, Otis Anderson out. They spot the ball closer to the three-yard line, third and goal. Now, the Giants are substituting backs in and out with very specific jobs that they do. And Tillman's a slashing runner, a good cutback runner. Cross and Roscoe, two tight ends on the right. Roberts for Bavaro, the tight end on the left. It's Tillman trying to go outside. He's trapped and dropped at the four. Hugh Green. Laserized number 55 and Jarvis Williams 26 collaborate on the stop. Well, one big defensive play does it. The blocking power is here to the right. It looks good. Excellent pull by Moore, but the penetration is there by, by really by everybody. That's the kind of play that if you expect an inside run, it may work against you, but that time the Dolphins were looking for something that would spring to the outside. Raul Alegre. Eight-year veteran from Texas. He's made his two field goal attempts this year. Will hit what amounts to an extra point as Hostetler kneels just inside the 18-yard line. Make that the 13-yard line. 23-yard attempt. And the Giants have the early lead. Well, not so early because that comes on the final second of the first quarter. So indeed, Marino had three plays in 15 minutes. The Giants consumed the time, and they have three. Ladies and gentlemen. You know, I love coming to the park with their major. Because there's nothing better than spending a little time with man's two best friends. His dog and his beer. Miller Lite, the less filling beer that really tastes great. Hey, where's Major? <laughs> Miller Lite, where less filling really tastes great. Hey, where you been? <sighs> it started with close and comfortable. Now the new Norelco razor brings you even closer with the same legendary comfort. To reach this new level of shaving perfection, our patented lift and cut system has been improved to lift each hair and cut it even closer without the blades touching your skin. So you get an even closer shave with the same incredible comfort. The new Norelco. It's more than a great shave. It's a whole new level of closeness and comfort. They flew more successful missions than any crew in history. America made them the glamour flyboys of World War II. But their last mission was their most dangerous. And only one lady could save them. A B-17 bomber they named Memphis Bell. Rated PG-13. Starts Friday, October 12th at a theater near you. Tuesday, Matlock's framed. The only fingerprints on the murder weapon are yours. And he's fighting for his life. Trouble is a two-way street. Taking on a ruthless underworld. Desperate men who deal guns, drugs, and death. Help! Ben must clear his name before it's carved in his headstone. A Matlock movie mystery on NBC Tuesday. Phil Sims, Dan Marino, both outstanding baseball players as well in their youth pitcher third baseman. The kickoff by Allegre. across the 25 to the 27 yard line well stay home tonight on NBC uh, double header for you two outstanding movies seven of your favorite TV comedy stars go off to camp together in Camp Cucamonga then Veronica Hamill Judd Hirsch and Lee Grant a powerful lineup star and she said no a film that the critics have truly praised that's Camp Cucamonga she said no tonight on NBC well, Dick here my guess is that Marino will come out throwing. They can't really waste it down running. They've got to go to their strength right now. 
hard to score when you only have the ball a minute and a half a quarter. Tony Page underneath is collar just shy of the 30 yard line by former Cowboy Steve Diossi. I've never seen that combination of time 13 plus minutes in one quarter of, of ball control. You, you couldn't have written the script better giant wise. Well but the bad news is they got only three. Right that, that in a sense is a victory for Miami because uh, this Miami offense historically can, historically can score quickly and field goals really don't beat them. Marino's first completion of the game three yards to Page. Second and seven, Clayton in motion. Sammy Smith, his first carry, and he gets only two. Eric Dorsey, former Notre Dame star, number 77, plugging the hole, along with Eric Howard. Another look at the 10-minute ticker. Cincinnati now, a 10-0 lead against the Patriots. Cleveland has scored a touchdown at home to lead San Diego 7-3. These third and fives are critical, but they get immensely critical when you don't get many of them like the Dolphins with, without any ball control they have to get this one or they're facing that same giant offense again Green on the shotgun third and five guns it complete and a nice catch on the near sidelines appear to be Fred Banks no Mark Clayton Clayton sliding his hands along the turf to grab that one that makes his streak 56 consecutive games where Clayton has caught at least one ball the running back combinations for both teams are become, become critical. They, they have a number on each roster and they all have a specific job to do. In this particular case, a Sammy Smith and a Tony Page and a Mark Logan, these are the kinds of guys that, that have special jobs and I believe you'll see Marino start throwing these short ball control passes where they try to get some momentum. Dolphins first, first down, down the seam it goes. Is it caught? Yes, what a catch by Tony Martin, the first-tier receiver from Mesa, Colorado. Now, now they say incomplete. Dan Moreno was talking about seams against the zone, and that's what we'll see here. Working straight up the field, but both receivers end up very close together, and it allows two defensive backs to make the play on the ball. Yeah, from that angle, you could see coming in was the safety, Myron Guyton, to deliver the he, blow. He was able to come over quickly because they didn't stretch that defense quite wide enough to eliminate him. Boy, Tony Martin, who, like his namesake, uh, enjoys singing, but boy, he's, that'll be a uh, bird music. Second and ten. We know the quickie up to the tight end, Farrell Edmonds, hit immediately. Coming up to make the stop, Perry Williams. Let's just go across the river and see what's up at NFL Live. Well, Dick, as you'll recall, the first two weeks of the year, Cincinnati had to come from behind to win. Here, with the cameraman faked out by the play-action move of Boomer Esiason, it's Eddie Brown on the receiving end of a 42-yarder. Moments later, New England fumbled. Cincinnati recovered. Esiason connected again with Rodney Holman for a touchdown. Cincinnati has a 17-0 first quarter lead. Off to a solid start as they were the year they went all the way to the Super Bowl. Third down and five for Marino. He's going long down the sidelines, well covered and almost intercepted by Everson Walls, the clever veteran former Cowboy who has 46 career interceptions and he was in perfect position there. They love their defense here at Giant Stadium. From the outside was great pressure coming from the outside from both people, but up inside you get the pressure, and this time Reno had to get rid of the ball quickly with a line stunt, but also the wind was a factor there. The wind sort of caught that ball. Not only the pressure, but the wind itself. Dave Meggett inside the 15 as Roby now kicks with the wind. Kick. His first was 28 yards, and this one isn't going to be much better. Touched by a dolphin at the 30 yard line. Don Chula is certainly thinking of how to adjust his strategy. Timeout with 11.45 left in the half. Working to be the best they can be. Teammates sponsored by the U.S. Army. Alex Webster and Frank Gifford gave the Giants the most versatile backfield of the 50s. Webster was an excellent receiver and runner. Gifford, a true triple threat back who could catch, run, and throw. Both frequently handled the ball in the same play. For his individuals, Gifford and Webster could do it all.
together as teammates, they made the Giants the best they can be. Approaching landing zone. Prepare to land. Let's move! We've got a connection to make! Give the Army Signal Corps 30 minutes and they can turn a mountaintop into a satellite communication station. Qualify for training like this, and you'll learn to work with some of the most exciting high-tech electronics around. Roger, Bravo 2, six, loud and clear. We got him! Hey. Hey. All that you can Did be. well. We're well connected, sir. Get an edge of life in the Army. The temperature never drops below Xerix. If you don't know that about antifreeze now, this is where you're likely to learn it. Because when your antifreeze fails, it usually fails here, when your car has been sitting idle, when it's very dark and very deserted and very cold. Oh, thank heavens, you did remember Xerox antifreeze. The temperature never drops below Xerox. So the Giants with the ball again and a 3-0 lead early in the second quarter. And again today, as we see all year long, it's getting more like baseball. You wonder if you couldn't steal some of those signals. <laughs> Defensive and offensive coordinators sending the plays in. Uh, what, what were some of your favorite players? Uh, did you, you signaled in some of the uh, plays? Oh, sure. We, we had a quarterback do it, but of course everybody could read it. Well, you, this might be formation. Uh, this might be play. This might be direction. And Sounds of like you're praying in this. Ever have any problems? Well, Somebody you, picking the, up your the, signs? The worst one I ever had was at the last minute, how do we signal the Hail Mary pass? And I thought, well, how about that? Election. Middle of the second quarter, I see, I'm thinking, how this. No, not the Hail Mary. <laughs> not now. <no. laughs> All right, the Giants have the ball at their 32 yard line. There's a. Some of the signals seem to be obvious. It, it surprises me, Bill, that more coaches don't scout as you do in baseball, try to pick up the signs and uh, maybe break the code. Well, just like baseball, you have a hot and cold sign, so to speak. You may have two people giving the sign whenever you suspect anything. But there was one particular NFL team a few years ago that had a videotape uh, in the uh, stands and was coordinating the sign with the defense later in the week when they got the film. And, uh, some of us found out about it. That team uh, win any games? They, they came close that year. Now the Giants again, trying to establish that ground game, and up comes Otis Anderson on first down. Make that Tillman, Lewis Tillman, and a flag goes down with it. Boy, Parcells makes it tough on the announcers. All his uh, key backs have that four. Uh, Lewis Tillman is 34. Maurice Carthen is 44. Oh, Otis Anderson, 24. Holding, Holding number 76, 76. Offense. offense. First down. First down. Now, this kind of thing affects the uh, the ball control. Uh, the 10-yard penalty, naturally, you can't go to the kinds of plays you are using typically, and uh, you may have to throw the ball to get back in command here, and this is what, naturally, uh, Miami would hope for. Ingram comes out to the left as the wide receiver, Mark Bavaro, back in the game. The tight end on the left side. Rodney Hampton. Jim Sims says he loves to throw to this young rookie. Good protection underneath and incomplete. No flag. Well, that was close coverage by Offerdahl and Dave Megat. Megat wasn't the primary receiver. Again, Sims wanted to, Sims wanted to throw down the field to Odessa Turner, and uh, he finally came to his outlet, and Overdahl was right on it. Right in front of us, you see him moving right inside with Megat, sitting right on his hip. Excellent play. But again, that was Sims' experience. He didn't waste the ball down the field and, and take a shot at an interception. He just tried to control it late. Offered all the former Bronco, Western Michigan, and he's opening a bagel shop down in the Miami area. Good play action. Sims throws the other way, and it's Tillman tackled immediately at the 22. David Briggs, brother of a former Jet tight end. Now that wasn't a very good call. That was more a call you'd run on second down and three or four. They had second and 20. So the play fake, the fake of the run, really didn't get very much done. Here's the mass substitution. Five men come in for the Dolphins who go to this look away from their base. Carl Wilson, Turner, Cross, and Kumro, the front four. And then seven defensive backs, Glenn, Thomas, Hobley, Micaiah, Brown, Williams, and Oliver. Third and 20. Flushed out and make it. First down at the 46-yard line. What a way. 
weapon. Dave Megan is a little five seven sprinter who always seems to get open on the big plays. That really must anguish Don Shula because what occurred they had the right defense but no pass rush on Sims. You'll see all four of these men not getting anywhere close giving Sims a chance to end up to the outside. Nothing coming then he moves outside and gives it himself all that time to finally hit Megan crossing from the far side of the field. The pass rush just wasn't there. 22 yards on the play. From the 44. Down the middle it goes almost intercepted. Oh my Odessa Turner was the closest giant but there was a pack of dolphins around him. The Giants have lost some of the ball control at this point because they're stopping the clock with an incomplete pass. Now whether that makes a lot of difference you'll find out late in the game. But that running game they're sort of stepping away from after the penalty. Three nothing Giants just under 10 minutes remaining in the opening half. Short field goal by Allegra, 23 yards, the only score. Second and ten, a delay, and it's Tillman close to midfield. Hit at the 49, a gain of five. Tillman, a slashing runner. He, in a sense, he's an Otis Anderson uh, at a much younger age. Now, whether he has the durability uh, and relentless competitiveness that uh, Anderson had, we'll find out. But Tillman really slashes and hits. They have specific plays they run with him. And as the season wears on, they'll have to depart from that approach because obviously the other team senses it when they're in the game. Hello, man. Otis Anderson on the sidelines. Third and five. No pass rush. He was in the grasp. It was whistled dead and a sack recorded for. Lewis Oliver, number 25. Now let's double check that. Oliver downfield. Sims avoided up inside and waited just a little too long trying to throw the ball. You see him in pretty good shape right now. A lot of time now coming up inside just by, by fortune. Kerry uh, Glenn was the man around the ankles for the sack, and now the punt by Landetta. Jarvis Williams, fair catch, lets it bounce out of bounds. It'll be Miami's ball at the 15 yard line. Nine minutes remaining in the half from the Giants with a field goal lead. Last year, more truck owners switched to Chevrolet than to any other truck. Listen to the heartbeat. Nearly 200,000 in just one year. So if you're still not driving a Chevy, what are you waiting for? More people are winning with the heartbeat of America. Today's truck is Chevrolet. From the outback of Australia, you can see the lights of Paris. Or survey the castles of Frankfurt from atop the Great Wall. There's a penalty on the Giants, an eligible man downfield on that last punt, so Landetta roots it out again. Martin, the fair catch, same spot, about the 13-yard line, so the penalty didn't affect it at all for that Landetta. Even when he doesn't hit the perfect spiral, has such a powerful leg. Out of Towson State, as is his teammate, Dave Megan. Well, the game starting to even up a little bit. Giants not quite controlling the ball, getting some punts. And we have a timeout. 8.44 left in the half. 3 nothing Giants. Because at this time of year, you can't hide inside a sweater. It's the right beer now. Because you know what to do when good times are on the line. After working hard to take it off, you don't want to put it back on. Reach for the silver bullet, the one that won't slow you down. Cool. Here's another demonstration of Chevy versus Ford. This one has socially redeeming values. We're loading up these full-size pickups with recyclables. 
The Chevy has a standard payload advantage of over 400 pounds. That's a pile of payload the Ford leaves behind. <laughs> no wonder so many truck owners recycle their trucks for Chevys. More people are winning with the heartbeat of America. Today's truck is Chevrolet. Oh, five more minutes. Uh-uh. It's our anniversary. Let's call it sick. Can't. Oh, ten years deserves something. True. Haven't I made you coffee for ten years? Haven't I had to drink it? Now, come on. Why? Show your friends this. Happy anniversary. Oh, it's beautiful. The Diamond Anniversary Band. This year, tell her you'd marry her all over again. Okay, I'll show them. Tomorrow. Now the Giants, although they seem to have been the dominant team, lead by only a field goal. 8.44 left in the half. Marino from his own 13. Sammy Smith hit immediately and driven back by the Giants. Pepper Johnson was the first there. Eric Howard came from behind that play and caught it. The two young rookies, Sims and Rip, pulled, but Howard followed them along behind the line of scrimmage and caught that thing from behind. The previous two weeks, Miami's been getting away with that kind of a play, and uh, the Giants are, at this point are just a little too quick, a little quicker than Miami. Moreno and the Dolphins with only one first down in the half. Out of the backfield to Smith. Waiting for him. Number 28, Everson Walls on that right corner. Excellent zone pass coverage. People drop. Pepper Johnson, in particular, number 52, will drop out of there and get in good position. Just steady, steady. Now when the ball's thrown, he attacks it from the inside. You see Walls from the outside. Now that's your, your approach to a receiver in a zone defense. Excellent job by Bill Belichick, one of the bright young coaches in the game today. He's done a marvelous job in utilizing the talent available to the Giants. There's a lot of talent, but they put it together well through his direction. Third and seven for Marino. Three-man rush down the middle to Clayton. Mark Clayton, a tough catch in traffic and a first down at the 33 as he caught it between Guyton and Walls. That was one heck of a catch. He had a man right in behind him, and he saw the ball late. Now, Marino just at the last second throws it before the pressure's there between two people, and Walls reaches out, just mistimes the bat, and it's caught. Now, that is the combination that uh, will keep Miami going this year. Ex the great passer, the concentrating receivers. Our Clayton out of Louisville was a real gem in the eighth round back in 83. What a star he's been. Smith, a little misdirection. Not fooling the Giants a bit. A loss of a couple. Renee Thompson from the left corner closed quickly. Gary Reason's in on the play as well. Renee Thompson, who was not protected a year ago and acquired on plan B by the Giants. Very bright young man. He's working on his master's degree in English, English literature, loves to write, loves uh, short stories. Edgar Allan Poe is his favorite. Let's say many cornerbacks around the league that will give you that answer. He's been a mystery on special teams. Marino hit as he throws incomplete to Troy Stratford. And the pressure coming from Pepper Johnson. Eric Dorsey really knifed in. Uh, Pepper Johnson 52 and Dorsey 77 all over Marino. And he's going to have to be protected here too because they are really hitting him not necessarily late but is getting close. Very close. Yeah, Re remember Dick when that throwing motion is completed. But he's, well, he's hit early there. But when that throwing motion is completed no contact. Third down and a dozen. that time so Marino wasn't sacked but he was abused Emerson Rawls blitzed from the outside surprised Marino with a corner bit you'll see him coming from the top of the screen there's Banks but Walls is the first person there to cut off Marino and allow Banks to get to him beautiful call uh, by by Bill Belichick and bringing a corner blitz right at that critical time 
Will be the punt. Another short kick. Make it fair catch. Woo! Tough catch at the 38 yard line. Kerry Glenn covering for Miami. That win really playing tricks with the punts. Again, Roby's kick under 30 yards, only 29. Timeout, 544 remain in the half. From the outback of Australia, you can see the lights of Paris. Or survey the castles of Frankfurt atop the Great Wall. From Mount Fuji, you can see the Champs-Élysées. Through the eyes of a Buddha in Thailand, you can see the Rhine rolling through Germany. And from the Kansas heartland, you can see the heart of France. You can see it all on United. Because the airline that spreads its wings across Asia and the U.S. now turns toward Europe beginning with Frankfurt and Paris. Come see it all on the airline that spans more than half the world. Come fly the friendly skies. NBC Sports coverage of the National Football League is brought to you by today's truck, Chevrolet. Nobody's winning like the heartbeat of America. By United Airlines, serving over 200 cities in the U.S. and around the world. Come fly the friendly skies. And by Liberty Mutual. For your insurance and financial service needs, America believes in Liberty Mutual. Five minutes, 44 seconds remaining in the first half. Beautiful giant stadium. Usual sellout of 76,000 and change. And thus far, surprisingly low score, three nothing. This all works in the Giants' favor. The lack of scoring, the lack of ability to move the ball with any consistency by Miami. The ball control team, the strong physical team, tends to dominate toward the end of the game. From the 38, Giants territory, Sims hands off, and it's Rodney Hampton for about three to the 41, maybe four. Cliff Odom led the defensive charge. This is a, a look at the Giants defensive play. Now you're going to see a blitz from the inside, but Emerson Walls will be attacking from the outside. A perfect call just at that moment. What, what uh, Dan Marino wants is to come outside and throw the ball, but you see Walls 28 and then Banks. Now Banks is again hitting late, and uh, it'll be interesting to see if that kind of thing is called because Marino had clearly thrown the ball when he was hit. Sims hit as he throws, incomplete as Jeff Cross coming in from the backside. Made the hit, and that was almost thrown to a Miami defender. Rodney Hampton in the flat was the target. Cross coming up the field, getting inside. And that made the big difference. And then spinning, being in good shape. That was a that took a real effort because not only was he confronted early, he was confronted late. He used a spin move to get free. And his quickness is what you have to get out of that Miami defense at this point. Shotgun, third and six. Underneath to make it. Breaks a tackle, breaks another. Finally out of bounds at the 37. on that play came all the way across the formation and then to the other side. Now, the only way that was possible was for Seams to get the pass protection he needed. He has time here. See the pockets perfect. Then he waits and Megat gets that running start. Very difficult to deal with without a pass rush. Terrific feat, Dave Megat. Tillman trapped and dragged down from behind by Sean Lee from North Alabama acquired for a late draft this year by the Dolphins from the Atlanta Falcons. You do see an, an improvement in the Dolphin defense. There are more athletes out there with five new people. Yeah, they're, they're attacking more defensively than they had. And Don Shula indicated, uh, and he's done it a number of times, but, but last night very succinctly, the defense has come through this year when they've needed, needed it, and where in the past they would fail in the, in the second half of the game. Now they seem to be coming through. Second and 14, play action. Sims throws to Carthen, incomplete, and a flag down. 
in the secondary of the Dolphins. Again in the past. Holding against the Dolphins that carries the first down. So second and 14 play. Holding number 22 defense. Five yards automatic first down. Tim McKayer your former cornerback with the 49ers. It's only a five yard penalty but on second and 14 it carries the automatic first down. So that's a tough one. Tim is uh, really a <laughs> different kind of guy in his sense he's got ability he's intense he wants to win. In another sense, he sort of distracts people. And uh, I believe the Dolphins are going through some of that now. They know they've got a talent. Whether he can wear well with his teammates is a critical thing. On first down, Sims. Broken up by Makair. And there is that talent as he darts in front of Odessa Turner. 3.54 left in the half here. Let's check on other scores with Bob Costas. Okay, Dick, we take a look at the action in Cleveland. Billy Joe Tolliver of the Chargers back to throw. Pumps, pulls it back down, lets it go. Now he wishes he hadn't. Intercepted by the linebacker, Mike Johnson. Watch all the offensive linemen chase him futilely. He goes 64 for the touchdown. Brown 7, Chargers 3. Back to Dick and Bill. All right, Bob. Billy Joe Tolliver, the young quarterback of the Chargers, had his troubles last week against Cincinnati. Here's the throw back to Sims. Sims throws wide open. Mark Ingram to the 10. Let's check out of bounds at the 10 yard line. Jarvis Williams finally got to him. Does that excite the fans and does that give the team confidence? Practice it all week. Now he'll hand off inside to Anderson. He pivots, throws to Sims. No one near Sims now. Crossing receivers and the defenders completely lose track of him. I don't think anybody does that kind of play better than the Giants. You see him coming all the way across the field. No one really there to defend against it. Everyone just a little confused, a little out of sync. Now oh, Ingram's first catch is a big one, and it's first and goal just inside the 10. And uh, the umpire comes in to call time, and officials time out with 3.06 showing on the clock. They were in that load formation all set up to hammer that right side of the offensive line and the Miami left side just all set to hammer it and see what they could get on the first down. Excellent execution one of the very best. We want five seconds on the 45 second clock instead of four seconds. Thank you. There's the load formation set up to the right. Bill Sims really using his running backs and probably that pattern will increase in number. The way he's talking about uh, the likes of Megan and Rodney Hampton. Otis Anderson. these things have uh, been carefully practiced and the execution is excellent. That's why uh, that is why the uh, Giants think they're very close. Now 60 will pull. You get motion to take a defender but you see excellent blocking right at the point of attack. Now Anderson will stretch it with his guard pulling up inside. Excellent block at the, at the point by Eric Moore and again execution. One of the most beautifully coached teams in football by Bill Parsons. Otis Anderson tries the center, but nothing there. Lewis Oliver, who made the hit to save the touchdown, number 25 on the last play, but more than Oliver to close the hole on that second down effort. So it'll be third and goal. As the Giants move the ball down the field running, the two great safeties for Miami, Oliver and Williams, are deep in their zones and unable to support, all by the design of the Giant offense. Two-minute timeout. The time has come for a new kind of full-size luxury, the 1991 Chevrolet Caprice, the most spacious Caprice of all time, a quiet place where six adults can enjoy standards of luxury they won't find in many more expensive cars. And that, perhaps, is the greatest luxury of all. The time has come for the new Chevrolet Caprice. Prepare to be impressed.
Just a reminder, proper maintenance with AC Delco parts can significantly reduce premature wrinkles. AC Delco, it's like buying time. Liberty Mutual presents the accident that never happened. Because as America's largest insurer for workers' compensation, Liberty Mutual has done more to help prevent injuries on the job than any other insurance company. Caring for people is why America believes in Liberty. Great view, huh? America believes in Liberty. Liberty Mutual Insurance. their lifetime and yours the NBA on NBC as you look at the other scores on this uh, third Sunday we welcome you back to Giants Stadium where the Giants have the ball just outside the one of Miami trying to add to their three nothing lead it's third and goal my guess is if they don't get it here they'll go for the touchdown on fourth down. Anderson the end, yes, touchdown. Well, he certainly knows the way, Otis Anderson. That is his 69th career rushing touchdown. And now the try for point by Allegre. Dominating on the ground, the Giants with 157 left in the half. If you want to go places in any career, ask yourself, can I perform under pressure? Can I be counted on to get the job done? You can learn how in the Army. So when you're ready to take off, you'll know you can go far. Getting to know you. Getting to know all about you. Of all the cars and trucks people could choose, more people chose Geo in its first year than Honda, Toyota, and Nissan combined in their first two years. Get to know Geo at your Chevrolet Geo dealers. Getting to know There's a new attitude at Northwest Airlines, a new dedication to service. You can see it in our on-time performance, the best of the top seven U.S. airlines. That's our commitment, to make sure you're on time for your commitments. Watch your step, folks. I'm so thirsty. Look at that. A brand new stain. You must have cost a bundle. Well, that's why he's using Conoco unleaded. Won't we'll have to worry about costly breakdown. Yep, breakdowns out here in the Badlands can be real dangerous. A virgin daylight. Come on. Have a good trip. Conoco. Hottest brand going. If you see one movie this year, make it this one. Perhaps the most compelling drama about rape ever made. The story of a woman violated, then brought to trial by the man who attacked her. Veronica Hamill, Judd Hirsch, and Lee Grant in a world premiere movie. She said no on NBC Tonight. Giants 10, Dolphins nothing. Miami hasn't crossed midfield. Allegre, after the one-yard touchdown by Anderson, sends it to the nine-yard line to Mark Logan. Logan chopped down at the 30. Tackled by Bobby Abrams. Piloting the MetLife blimp today with all those beautiful pictures are captains Corky Bellinger and John McGurk. What a day to be up there. Mm. And don't forget tonight, not just one outstanding movie premiere, but two, Camp Cucamonga, involving some of the top comedy stars, and then a terrific cast, Veronica Hamill, Judd Hirsch, among those that uh, star in the critically acclaimed She Said No. That's tonight, two outstanding features. All at the 31-yard line, 153 left in the half for Marino. Jensen 
Didn't see the ball coming. Richmond Webb did a nice job on LT that time. Very nice job. Big, smooth athlete. And LT really did bother Marino, but you see Richmond Webb coming on a young rookie, feet moving well, using his hands in good position. But now if Marino had had to keep it, he'd have gotten trouble. Again, the left guard Sims came out and took away the inside. So two fine young rookie offensive linemen. Big guys, the biggest John Jules had. Jensen can't get it. Too tall. Boy, oh, that pressure from the Giants' physical defense has Marino hurrying, and everyone seems to be just a little out of rhythm. They are. They're going to have to really recoup at halftime, a short halftime. A lot of pressure, but Dan is early throwing that ball, and uh, Jim Jensen really wasn't ready to catch it when he got there. The timing isn't there. Now, whether it's the defense, who's to say, but the timing isn't there. Miami right this moment is out of sync. Only 39 yards passing for Marino and only one yard rushing for Sammy Smith who leads the league. Intercepted. Perry Williams down at the 40 yard line and the Giants might get more. disappointed in uh, Dan Marino I can't for the life of me figure out what's happening I think he's trying to throw seam passes no it, it's hard to figure one receiver breaking out the other end and two defenders between them and the ball still thrown they're really going to have to sit down and uh, decide what they want to do in the second half I don't mean what the plays are but how, how they want to play the game well now Bill Walsh uh, the Giants pose a real threat to uh, Miami's hopes that Bill Parcells team can score another touchdown. They've got a minute and a half to do it. They could blow this one wide open at halftime. Leading 10 nothing. It's Otis Anderson trying that right side into the 39 yard line. Paying the price. Fans wanted the Sims to throw it. Cliff Odom inside linebacker makes the tackle. No problem with that call. There's plenty of time. Plenty of time to get down and get at least three at this point. This is going to test that new uh, Miami defense. Thoroughly test it. If they can hold them off here, it would really help going into the second half. Giants have two timeouts left. We're down to a minute. Sims right down the middle. Incomplete to Bavaro, so he's okay. Bavaro on a deep pattern. You know, they, they say Bavaro can, can handle pain. He must be oblivious of it. A badly sprained ankle. He tries to go in again. Can't quite function. Here he is running full speed down the field for a ball. Oh, is he tough? And as a blocker, he's a decleater. He puts you right on your back. The only thing he doesn't do well is interviews. <laughs> <laughs> they said that Dick Lynch, the Giants radio announcer, had him on a postgame show on the rookie year and said, Boy, what a way to break in a touchdown. What'd you think of it? And Bob just nodded, Yes, he liked it. This is radio. He said, Yes. Throw batted away by number 24 Rodney Thomas. Good play, and that'll bring up fourth down. That is well done. Nice coverage, breaking to the outside. Thomas takes the. You see him bat the ball away with his right hand, keeping his left hand free to make the tackle if the ball is caught. Now, meanwhile, Phil is really hitting the back foot, and it looks as though he's twisted an ankle. It must happen late because early on it looked like he had excellent protection. The ball's gone. There's the, 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 the hit right after. It looked like someone stepped on it. Well, Lifford Hobley, a defensive back, was putting pressure, and apparently in the midst of the block, someone rolled up on his ankle. And so he'll be attended to. Timeout with 53 seconds left in the first half. Before building personal computers for networks, Compaq thinks about you, about the kind of people you work with, and the number how information moves and how fast it goes. This is why Compaq was first to put the performance of an impersonal computer system into a personal computer system. And why so many companies run their PC networks with the high performance of Compaq. To give more power to more people. And more people. And more people. Compaq. It simply works better. One new Duracell battery. One old Duracell battery after nine loud weeks in a boombox. Close your eyes. Uh-uh, no peeking. 
Okay, open them. Now, which is which? This is why we saved the new Duracell package. It holds the copper top tester, which tells you if a battery is good or needs to be replaced. The new one, the old one. It's that simple. The new copper top tester. It's free and only from Duracell. The Naps, the Pattersons, and the Irelands. Each of these families gets a homeowner discount from State Farm. There's a new home discount for the Naps, a home alert discount for the Pattersons, and a discount for the Irelands, who've simply stayed with State Farm for more than three years. Many State Farm customers even qualify for more than just one of our homeowner discounts. And like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Sam's did not be, uh, seem to be seriously injured. They attend to him and Al Landetta and the putting team out for the Giants on 4th and 8 at the 39 of Miami. Sam's uh, looked as though he had, had his foot stepped on. Really smart. Really smart, but naturally it uh, isn't anything serious. Martin and Williams back for Miami. The Dolphins aware of a possible fake. See those linebackers talking to each other. Landetta trying to loft one down inside the five. And finally down at the three yard line. It appeared to be that man again, Renee Thompson, who saved it out of the end zone. What a play! He combines 4-3 speed, sprinter speed, with intelligence, and then an instinct for the game. I don't think I've seen a more effective uh, punt coverage man. And it, he changed around their punt coverage this last season. 490 yards difference in total punt coverage. You see the speed, and look at him leap in the air. He's got to get it back before he lands on the ground, and he did it. Thompson, of course, playing against his former teammates and friends and trains with them in the offseason down in Miami. It was very important for him to play well today. He's made two outstanding, two gems on special teams. Up the middle goes Mark Logan. To the eight yard line, and uh, Don Chula pinned at his own end. Isn't going to take any chances here at the end of the half. Already down 10 0. You know, a year ago, uh, Thompson joins the Giants. In 88, there was their net yards per punt. 89 with Thompson around 37 4. Now he didn't account for all those, but Bill Parcell says, I look at him as a man who's gained 490 yards. That was the net difference. That's 49 first downs that Renee Thompson gave us. High praise and apparently deserved. So the clock ticks away. This will be the end of the first half. The Giants lead 10 0. It didn't seem as close as all that if you were a Miami fan. That's the story of Giant Stadium. Let's go to NFL Live and Bob Costas. All right, Richard, and coming up on NFL Live at halftime, I'll be joined by Will McDonough and O.J. Simpson. We'll check the scores and highlights from today's games, and we'll talk to NFL Commissioner Paul Tagliabue. We'll discuss the Clarence K. and Eric Dickerson situations. That's all ahead after these messages. Today's small cars are tougher than ever on oil. Their high compression engines not only rev high, they can run hotter than regular small car engines. Their searing heat can begin to break down in oil immediately. That's why there's Kestrel, the motor oil that in every grade provides maximum protection against viscosity and thermal breakdown. So use Kestrel before your engine does something to get you heated up. Kestrel, engineered for today's smaller cars. We built this business to give you vision, style. We built this business to help entertain you. We built this business to build your freedom. ITT built these businesses into leaders. We built them by taking care of people. We built this business. We built this business. Hi, my name is John Offerd of the Miami Dolphins, and this is my wife, Lynn. And over there is Miami, a city of contrast. It's a beautiful city, and Miamians are people with the courage and compassion to solve their problems. That's where the United Way comes in. We're here with some of the big brothers and big sisters of Miami, a United Way-supported agency. Mitch's little brother, Lewis, 
came to Miami nine years ago. The future for Lewis could have been one on the streets with drugs, crime, and violence. But he was lucky because he found a big brother. Lewis has learned English, he's going to school, and he's got someone to give him guidance and the special love that bonds big and little brothers and sisters. Lynn and I have joined this program, and we want kids to have a chance. In the NFL, we do more than just play football. We get involved in our community. And the United Way is more than the best way to give and to care. The United Way, it brings out the best in all of us. This message furnished by the National Football League. Okay, we resume now at halftime, and as promised, here's Commissioner Paul Tagliabu in the studio with us. We left off at the end of the pregame show talking about instant replay, and one point is that obviously there are big differences from game to game in the amount of available equipment. Does that concern you? It doesn't concern me, I guess, for two reasons. Number one, the two teams are playing with the same amount of equipment in the game. And number two, with our two-minute limit this year for reviewing the video, no one's going to get eight or nine or ten camera angles anyway. So we're basically going to be looking at roughly the same number of camera angles in each game. Now what about in a very big game, very big late season game with that two minute rule in effect? And if after the two minutes have gone by, just for the purpose of enlightening the audience, the network covering the game comes up with what is now the definitive replay and it clearly overrules the call that has just stood or should have and you don't have the capability because of the two minute rule. Well, the coaches said, you know, that we should strike a balance, and everyone felt we should strike a balance between having the game move along. As you know, the rule is that the replay has to be clear and indisputable. And if you can't make that judgment within two minutes, the consensus among the coaches and the teams was that we should go back to the field and play. Well, Paul, let's uh, jump to a couple of issues you're going to have to deal with, I think, here shortly. How about Eric Dickerson? When do you anticipate uh, making a decision uh, with what's going to happen to him? Uh, I think probably sometime this week I'll get back to Eric and to the Colts uh, with some indication of what I think they should do and uh, whether there's anything I can do about it, frankly. How about Clarence Kay? I think you've got some kind of an idea of what you might do with his situation. Well, Clarence, you know, was uh, uh, arrested for speeding, and uh, I think uh, I've seen enough now to convince me that uh, Clarence... Uh, uh, should be permitted to play for the Broncos, and I have informed the Broncos of that recently. There is uh, some feeling in the league, you've got an important meeting coming up Tuesday where the owners are going to come in to vote on a practice squad. Some of the owners think that this might be the first step towards a new collective bargaining agreement with the players. How do you feel? Well, I don't uh, see it quite so globally. I think it's important for two reasons. Number one, it, uh, it's responsive to what the coaches and the football people want. They wanted these practice players, and I think management has an obligation to be responsive when it could affect the product. Number two, I think it is significant that for the first time, representatives of the teams and the players have gotten together, they've listened to each other carefully, they've gotten off their positions and moved toward a middle ground and reached an agreement. That, I think, is significant. Finishing up where we started, is it fair to say that replay coming into this season was again hanging by a thread? It seemed a couple of years ago it was sustained almost as a, a personal tip of the hat to Pete Rozelle. Then you had to step in and lobby again this time. Is it always on the brink? Well, I think in this league there will always be some people who will oppose instant replay, but uh, this year with the changes we made, maybe we'll have a stronger consensus at the end of the year. It's going to be interesting to see. I wish we had more time, but we thank Commissioner Paul Tagliabu for stopping by. Will McDonough, O.J. Simpson, and I will be back as halftime continues in a moment. So, folks, uh, you want to know how to win big in McDonald's, McMillions on NBC? Mm-hmm. You go for it. That's right, you got to go to McDonald's for a new McMillions ticket every day. Because every day, for 28 days, oh, we're giving away a million bucks or more. Got to get one of these. Then, every night, you just pull up a seat, you get comfy, and watch NBC to see if you win. Now, if nobody wins one night, the cash rolls over until somebody wins. So come on, play McMillions on NBC. Stan Costco Sporting Goods has been supplying this area's hockey players for over 15 years. Skates, sticks, shoulder pads, helmets, gloves, hockey bags, and more. And Costco's offers full repair service and skate sharpening while you wait. I tell you, Costco's knows hockey. They also carry athletic shoes for all occasions, local high school letterman jackets and athletic jackets, and screen printing for your team uniforms. Remember, if hockey's your game, Costco's the name. Stan Costco Sporting Goods, downtown Fargo. 
How do you load a Chevy S10 pickup? You load it up with a Tahoe trim package. V6 engine. AM FM stereo cassette. Sliding rear window. Step bumper. And sport wheels. How do you unload it? Easy. Give it a price anyone can handle. Just $83.95 after cash back and first time buyer bonus. See your local Heartland Chevy dealer today. Jesse Jackson, coming this fall to KTHI 11. Okay, before we launch into the scores and highlights here, Will, let's pick up on what Commissioner Tagliabue said. Prior to today, he had not made a definitive statement about Clarence Kay. Now the indication is he's free to return to the Broncos. Well, he's, he's just not going to do anything, I think, with Clarence Kay, and the reasoning for that is this. Uh, how could he put him out of the game for life in the courts and the... Uh, Denver really wouldn't even find the guy. And the second thing, important thing to me, he said, was about Jickerson. I think his final line when, he's, he, when he said, if there is anything, I can do about it. And for me, that meant that he isn't going to do anything about it. All right, what we're going to do something about here is getting you updated on all the scores and highlights from around the league. In the game you're watching, the Giants have completely dominated the Dolphins. They have thwarted Dan Marino, and at halftime, the Giants lead it by a score of 10-0 in the battle of a pair of 2-0 teams. Kansas City got a five-yard scoring run just before halftime at Lambeau from Christian Okoya. They lead at Green Bay 7-3 at the half. Don Mikowski has not been sharp. The Bears just got an eight-yard run from Neil Anderson, his fifth touchdown already this year. Earlier, they had two Kevin Butler field goals, one of them a 51-yarder, late in the second quarter at Soldier Field, looking to go 3-0. The Bears lead 13-3. Cincinnati all over the Patriots. James Brooks just got the latest TD on the ground. Earlier, Boomer Esiason, a 42-yarder to Eddie Brown. They scored off a faked field goal on a four-yard pass from Lee Johnson to Rodney Holman. They've done it every which way, and they lead 31-0 over the Patriots in the second Second quarter at Riverfront, Cincinnati apparently will be 3-0. San Diego is playing at Cleveland, where the Browns have a 14-10 lead. Let's take a look at some of the highlights in that game. Man in the middle, former NBC employee for a year, Bobby Beathard, looking for his first victory as the top man in the front office of the Chargers. This doesn't help, though. Billy Joe Tolliver pumps once, then twice, and Mike Johnson intercepts. Now watch as he runs it in. Look at the most obvious clip in history. This guy from behind takes out two guys. They don't call it, and the touchdown stands for Mike Johnson. Tolliver gets back on the beam, however, a little bit later as he'll hit Anthony Miller for a touchdown. Steps up into the pocket. Tremendous protection all the time in the world. There he is, wide open. Leroy Horde just scored from the one, though, for the Browns, and they've got the lead as they come up on halftime, 14-10. to Dallas and Washington in an exchange of field goals at RFK. These teams come in each with a record of 1-1. One one. The game tied late in the second quarter at three apiece. Mark Rippon was just helped off the field with an injury we can't identify yet. Stan Humphreys, the backup quarterback, is in now at least temporarily for the Redskins. Indianapolis playing at Houston. Warren Moon with a pair of touchdown passes, each of them to Lorenzo White, halftime at the Astrodome, 14-0. Phoenix playing at New Orleans, and those of you who have been following the news closely realize that many people in New Orleans have taken a vow of celibacy until the Saints score their first touchdown of the year. John Forcade, 14 yards to Eric Martin. Everybody can breathe easier down by the bayou. And we go back to the game in just a moment. Of course, you've always wanted to be a millionaire. Well, your truck has come in, in McDonald's McMillions on NBC. We're giving away a million bucks a day for 28 days in a row. And if nobody wins one day, the cash rolls over to the next. Kind of a nice feature. Now, you just go to McDonald's for a ticket every day. Watch NBC every night, and you could win. So drop in, tune in, and cash out. In McMillions on NBC. The offer just got better on the totally new 1991 Ford Escort. Now until September 26th, your Ford dealer can offer you a choice of low 4.8% financing for 48 months or a $500 cash bonus on any new 1991 Ford Escort. Plus, you can get up to $744 in factory discounts. But hurry, 4.8% financing or $500 cash on a new 1991 Ford Escort ends September 26th. The all-new 1991 Ford Escort. Now at your Northland Ford dealer. Trump card, weekdays at 6.30 on 11. A day fitting for the first of autumn. 
A bite in the air and warm sunshine here at Giants Stadium where the Giants have a 10 nothing lead and as you said at the top of the telecast Bill that Miami would have to pass they've not been able to pass the ball and the Giants would love to run it and they certainly have done that Gi way. Giants dominating uh, Miami's going to have to throw the ball in the second half effectively. I'm not sure they can. All right, let's go. The conservative giant offense with one exception. And, of course, the running game set up this throwback pass. Again, Anderson into the line, reversing out and pitching. You practice and practice it. But the reason this works, Dick, is because the, the Miami defense is putting no pressure. They're not attacking. And, consequently, you get time to run those kind of plays. Mark Ingram with a catch and that set up the only touchdown of the half and gave the Giants a 10 nothing lead. Meanwhile Dan Marino the passing offense uh, really has been empty for the Dolphins. Just 99 out of 111 NFL starts for Marino. He's thrown at least one touchdown pass and he holds the records for three uh, touchdown games and he's one behind United's four touchdown games and when he doesn't throw one the Dolphins struggle two and ten. They really do, and Marino is going to have to hold the ball longer. But Banks and Taylor are getting so close to him, he's throwing prematurely. Goff starts the second half, and it hits the back of an up lineman, and then covered and out to the 33-yard line. The Dolphins take over. So Miami and Dan Marino will get the ball first. If we're going to see a change in tactics or a turnaround in the game, we'll see it right now, Dick. And Keith Sims, the rookie guard from Iowa State, will be able to tell his grandchildren, yeah, I went up to the Big Apple. I returned to kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> now he goes to work on Lawrence Taylor's side of the field. Teaming with a day fitting for the first of autumn. A bite in the air and warm sunshine here at Giants Stadium where the Giants have a 10-0 lead. And as you said at the top of the telecast, Bill, that Miami would have to pass. They've not been able to pass the ball, and the Giants would love to run it, and they certainly have done that. Gi way. Giants dominating. Uh, Miami's going to have to throw the ball in the second half effectively. I'm not sure they can. All right, let's go. The conservative giant offense with one exception, and, of course, the running game set up this throwback pass. Again, Anderson into the line, reversing out and pitching. You practice and practice it, but the reason this works, Dick, is because the, the Miami defense is putting no pressure. They're not attacking, and consequently you get time to run those kind of plays. Mark Ingram with a catch and that set up the only touchdown of the half and gave the Giants a 10 nothing lead. Meanwhile Dan Marino the passing offense uh, really has been empty for the Dolphins. Just 99 out of 111 NFL starts for Marino. He's thrown at least one touchdown pass and he holds the records for three uh, touchdown games and he's one behind United's four touchdown games and when he doesn't throw one the Dolphins struggle two and ten. They really do, and Marino is going to have to hold the ball longer. But Banks and Taylor are getting so close to him, he's throwing prematurely. Goff starts the second half, and it hits the back of an up lineman, and then covered and out to the 33-yard line. The Dolphins take over. So Miami and Dan Marino will get the ball first. If we're going to see a change in tactics or a turnaround in the game, we'll see it right now, Dick. And Keith Sims, the rookie guard from Iowa State, will be able to tell his grandchildren, yeah, I went up to the Big Apple. I returned to kickoff. <laughs> <laughs> now he goes to work on Lawrence Taylor's side of the field, teaming with another rookie, Richmond Webb, and Marino comes out throwing. Guns the ball complete. Mark Duper's first catch of the game at midfield and a first down Miami. This is the deepest progression of the Dolphins in the game. They had not been to the 50 yet. This is an excellent release up inside walls. Key is Marino throwing the ball on time before before Walls can really make a play on the ball. Now that's vintage Dan Marino. But Walls so sticky. He doesn't have the speed of a lot of cornerbacks, but he's so smart. A veteran, he's just all over you. As Bill Parcell says, the ball goes to him. I don't know what it is, but the ball seems to find him, accounting for all those interceptions. 46 line time. Try gains a couple. Tony Page trying the left side behind those two rookie blockers. Uh, giant coaches refer to them as road graders, the way they plow the defense back. 78 Richmond Webb, he's 298 pounds from Texas A&M, and Keith Sims, number 69, is 305 pounds from Iowa State. They are big and physical, and 
talk, of course, around football is the NFC is the physical side. The AFC more finesse. Quick throw by Marino and Duper has another catch and a first down at the Giant 38. So for the first time in the game, the Dolphins are on the New York Giant half of the field. Uh, Marino is getting the ball off quicker, also snapping the ball quicker before the Giant pass rushers can get on track. So he's up snapping the ball quicker, throwing it quicker. In this particular case, it's just a quick out that the defensive coverage uh, Renee Thompson gives him short. They had only 49 yards the entire first half, the Miami offense, and they're closing in on that in their first drive. They have 29 here to open the second half. Here's Sammy Smith, and he meets a trio of blue shirts led by John Washington from Oklahoma State, number 73. It's so difficult to work past those uh, down linemen of the Giants because they control their blocker so well. They come right down the line of scrimmage where the ball carry hits the hole they're waiting for. Is the NFC really that much more physical than the AFC? Well, in talking to Shula, he, he, he feels they're stronger, more physical, but there's more technique, more skill in the AFC. Now we're going to find out. This is the moment of truth for Dan Marino. Quick throw to Clayton, and he's hit hard by Perry Williams, who had an interception in the first half. Not much on that, just a couple of yards as Clayton has his third catch of the game. Well, at least Miami has field position at this point. If they were to punt, they'd have the Giants backed up. So the, the role of the two teams could change here quickly just with field position. Third down and five for Marino at the Giant 33. 10-0 Giants as Taylor, who's been blocked well thus far, lines up on that right side just outside Richmond Webb. Cross goes long to Banks, incomplete, right through his hands as Greg Jackson might have gotten a finger on it. Good throw by Marino, but incomplete. They went for it all. Banks started up the field, bent in and break to the corner. Pass protection was good. He had Jensen in the backfield helping him. Beautiful throw, right on the money. Should have been caught. They Here just can't afford Dick to drop a ball like that. They're not going to get that many chances. Pete Stojanovic is going to try a long one. Nearly 52 yards. He kicked one here 59 last year against the Jets. If the wind's just right, he's got a chance. But you can't tell that wind down. Gets it high. It's long enough. It's good. Oh, my. Stojanovic from 52 yards gives the Dolphins a much-needed three. Timeout, 11.52 left, third quarter. Millions of years ago, nature created a vehicle that accelerates, steers, and stops with all fours. That ingenious concept has now been engineered into a car. Introducing the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. With all-wheel drive, all-wheel steering, all-wheel anti-lock brakes, and 300 horsepower instead of just one. Mitsubishi, the word is getting around. It's more than just a game. 17! And if you play your cards right, 20! You could win it all. 25! 25? I won! With that lineup? Yeah! Yes. Play Diet Coke Super Bowl lineup, and you could win up to $25,000. Game pieces and caps only on packages with Super Bowl lineup emblems. Tough luck, Boomer. Collect and win or win instantly. Hey, a Super Bowl trip. Diet. With 100% NutraSweet. Now you find out just how good your car insurance company really is. I'm State Farm Agent John Hedden. With State Farm, you report your claim to your agent. Right away, your agent teams up with trained State Farm claims people. We work with your agent to keep your claim moving, so you get your car fixed as soon as possible. Our teamwork speeds your claim. It's another reason State Farm insures more cars than anyone else. State Farm is there. NBC Sports coverage of the National Football League is brought to you by Diet Coke with 100% NutraSweet. You'll drink it just for the taste of it. By Magnavox, smart choices for smart people. Magnavox, smart, very smart. And by Mitsubishi, bringing you a full line of award-winning automobiles. See them all at your Mitsubishi Motors dealer.
Welcome back to Giants Stadium. Stoyanovic with a kickoff after what is now an officially 51 yard field goal attempt. Dave Meggett won't run it out, takes it at the 20. They spotted the ball just inside the 52 on the field goal try, and so Stoyanovic gets a 51 yard effort, his second longest. Well, tonight, we told you a couple of outstanding movies that we'd like to share with you on NBC. So join us for Camp Cucamonga and She Said No. Uh, All star lineup of Actors that uh, uh, will entertain you on your Sunday evening that she said no has been critically acclaimed by most everyone around the country. We hope you'll stay with us tonight. Sims leading 100 yards in the first half. First possession giant second half and Otis Anderson gets the toss. And he's met on the corner by Lewis Oliver, the safety man. Flags go down. Oliver. Number one pick of the Dolphins a year ago and upset about something. Perhaps that uh, Jerry Mark Bright will explain as he picks up the flag. Oliver was at the line of scrimmage that time. That's the adjustment they've made. Get that big guy up there to stop that load offense. We have offsetting fouls. Face mask foul. Number 25, defense, a five-yard penalty. Holding, number 44, offense. Penalties declined. First down. Well, the Giants came out of that pretty well. If you took the difference, they'd have lost five. If you took the play, they would have lost three. They come out with no play. First down again at the 20. Two wide receivers to the left. Megan now in the backfield. You got to keep your eye on him. He slips through the line of scrimmage. Sims with all day to throw. And then finally throws it away. Good coverage by the Dolphins. They had dropped their linebackers into coverage, and that zone had all the targets covered for Sims. All the time he wanted. Everybody was fooled, but the defensive backs didn't buy the fake run. The linemen did, but not the defensive backs. They were right, right with their receivers. And Phil could very well have run at that point, but his experience paid off, just threw the ball away. He just doesn't want any errors here, any misfunctions, because Miami is, uh, in a sense, coming back. So their, their tactics were very good coming out of the halftime. Again, two wide receivers left. Turner and Ingram. It's time to give his to Anderson, as they hope that uh, the Dolphins would be looking for a fake. And it's only a three yard gain as Alfred Oglesby. The number three pick of the Dolphins from Houston made the stop. Oliver came flying out of that deep middle into that running play that time and really has become a factor. A year ago, all kinds of problems. Ankle sprain, shoulder problem, uh, not playing his consistency, all uh, consistent, although he led the team in interceptions, but now he knows the game, knows the system. He's a major factor, 220 pounds. Third and long. to Hampton who has hit shy of the first down at the 29. No safety men come up. Jarvis Williams this time as he and Lewis Oliver who played together in the same defensive backfield at the University of Florida. Two big men who can really hit and it appeared that Hampton had enough to fall forward but Williams stopped him cold a yard shy and on fourth and one Landetta comes in to punt. That's the major factor, the major change of the 90s in defensive football. Big, active safeties, all over Ronnie Lauder, Carlton Williamson. Tony Martin at the other end as Landetta hits a beautiful spiral. All the way to the 20. Martin looking for the wall on the far sideline. He found it, but it had a blue uniform on it. David Whitmore, he's a big young safety with the Giants. 51-yard punt by Landetta. Timeout, 9.51 left in the third. An eclipse was always a rare phenomenon, seen only once or twice in a lifetime. But ever since car and driver named the Mitsubishi Eclipse GS Turbo to its annual 10 best list, and ever since Automobile Magazine put the all-wheel drive Eclipse GSX on its 1990 all-star list, you see eclipses all the time. Mitsubishi. The word is getting around.
refreshes quite like the real cola taste of Diet Coke. With 100% NutraSweet. Hey, where's Boomer? Diet Coke! Guys! Guys! You've been up in the air for hours. Now you got to make up the time. Aren't you glad Hertz has a faster, easier way to rent a car? Number one club gold. No paperwork, no stopping at counters, nothing to slow you down. Hertz, we're America's wheels. You go straight to our gold parking area, where your car is waiting, ready to go. I'm gonna make it. Hertz, we're it's the fastest way to rent a car. Elway. Kelly. The Broncos and the Bills. Then the slaughter. The nightmare. Ambush at Arrowhead. An NFL doubleheader next Sunday. After Whitmore's fine tackle on the punt, Marino starts at his 25, guns it over the middle to the tight end Edmonds. Edmonds to the 42, and a first down. Pepper Johnson and Myron Guyton team up on the stop. 17 yards on the play. Let's check the Hertz 10 minute ticker. Low scores. Kansas City. Okoye has just scored to give the Chiefs the lead. The Bears going for 3 0, have a touchdown lead at the half. New England really getting pounded by Cincinnati. Cleveland, Leroy Horde, the rookie, has just scored. And Houston has a couple of Warren Moon touchdown passes. Underneath to Tony Page. And Page, who is rarely used as a receiver with the Jets and with the Lions, he really has enjoyed joining the Dolphins and Don Shuley. He has a couple of catches today to give him 10 for the year. He says, I'm a seven year guy that feels like a rookie. And I'm so happy to be in Miami. Well, he brings a real enthusiasm and a real physical toughness in that backfield. The blocking part, of it, like an H back, pass protector, but just good enough hands to be a threat. They've helped themselves. Right now, Miami's coming out a, a, a full stride quicker in the second half than the first half. Everything's I bet, quick. I bet they heard some words from Shula. The throw and a drop by Edmonds. Check that. Mark Logan intended out of the backfield, and it was out of his hands and almost intercepted. Carl Banks was there to cover. On these short passes, there's still too much penetration by that giant defense pushing the blocker back into Marino. That's why you don't see the accurate throws that you normally see from the guy. So again, the physical part is showing up. But Dan is moving quickly, throwing sharper, and they've got right back in the game. Ball at the 45 Miami territory. Marino way over the mark. Mark Clayton felt he was held, but no fly. Pepper Johnson all over Marino. Just when Dan wants to step into his throw, he's got somebody pushing right into his face. And Pepper leads the cheers as he leaves the field. Well, Roby will get to kick with the win now. He had a, for him, dismal first half. Megat at the other end. Sailor, Megan, no fair catch. And he's drilled at the 17, 18 yard line. Making the tackle for the Dolphins was African Nigeria Grant, number 41. Time out. It's more than just a game. 17! And if you play your cards right, 20! You could win it all. 25! 25? I won! With that lineup? Yeah! Yeah! Play Diet Coke Super Bowl lineup, and you could win up to $25,000. Game pieces and caps only on packages with Super Bowl lineup emblems. Tough luck, Boomer. Collect and win, or win instantly. Hey, a Super Bowl trip! With 100% NutraSweet. Millions of years ago, nature created a vehicle that accelerates, steers, and stops with all fours. That ingenious concept has now been engineered into a car. Introducing the Mitsubishi 3000 GT. With all-wheel drive, all-wheel steering, all-wheel anti-lock brakes, and 300 horsepower instead of just one. Mitsubishi, the word is getting around. 
If your feathers have been ruffled by downdrafts in the market, get on board something big, safe, and secure. Get Met. It pays. Do you use a dandruff shampoo? Test Show sells some blue relief dandruff flaking better than head and shoulders. Blue is better. And for a limited time, blue is free. Buy one seven ounce bottle of any formula sells some blue, get one free. See for yourself, blue is better. The thrill of their lifetime and yours. The NBA on NBC. Leading 10 to 3, 821 remaining third quarter. The Giants start from their own 19. Sims. To Turner. McHire can't bring him down, but there's help from the backside as TJ Turner makes the tackle. David Griggs there as well. Sims looking for that load formation to the left. Isolating McCarr way over to the right one on one. McCarr handled that very, very well. He kept his head up, kept his feet underneath him, and made the stop. He didn't lose his man immediately. Gain of a long six. Second and a short three. Anderson. Just make that to Carthen, the fullback. Maurice Carthen just. Forging straight ahead as that front line pushing the Dolphins back. Jeff Cross made the tackle, but credit Elliott, Roberts, Oates, Moore, and Riesenberg, the offensive five. Just coming off the line of scrimmage, staying with their blocks, sustaining their blocks, and then uh, turning their man to the outside. Very well done, and it seems like they can get that whenever they want. That's the problem. Don Shula talking with him last night. In the past, his defense has come up in the second half hoping or expecting they would in this game and now they're being tested. Here's Tillman. Here's Tillman. And a flag down as he gets to the 34. It's interesting. Shula in the glory days and in fact you go back to the last two times uh, you saw Mark Bright indicate holding against the Giants that these teams met 18 years ago over at Yankee Stadium was in the midst of that 72 holding, perfect holding. year. Number 76. Offense. Offense. First down. John Elliott second holding call. And he, he said, in those days, we were the one who possessed the ball. And he says, now we're being overpossessed. And that's what's happened in the 80s, and he's trying to turn it around. And, and it's not as though his style created what you see today in the sense of not being as physical, because those great teams were the most physical in football. They dominated. They, they ravaged the offense. They just took everything away. So what he's doing is putting together a defense with, with the uh, strength and the, the size to stop people. As the Giants had. They brought a Hampton, and that didn't fool the Dolphins. He's met right at the 20 yard line. John offered all coming up to greet him with Griggs. There's offered all. Dick, the Miami style of defense is, is a departure from NFC football. Uh, here's Overdahl, one of the great linebackers in the league. But the Miami defense is a static kind of defense where people just take their responsibilities. They don't really attack like NFC teams. And this is a changeup that concerned the Giants. But at this point, the Giants are dealing with it very, very well. Second and 18. No pass rush. Wide open is Megat. No one near him. 50. And finally down at the 42. A big play, little man he is, 38 yards. Just a, a, in a sense, a blown coverage by the Miami secondary. Their safeties just didn't get where they belong. And uh, when he released up the field, there was just no one there. McHire did not hold up, and there's Sims feeling pretty good about it. They spotted that coverage and hit Megat down that sideline. McHire did not hold up Megat. He should have caught him at the line and slowed him down and he didn't get it done. Big plays for Mega 81 yards on three catches. Lewis Tillman. And the tackle made at the 41, a gain of maybe a yard. Well, the fans, of course, would like to see the big, exciting plays, but the Giants are built 
for the cold weather and there's a definite design Bill Parcells wants a certain kind of player a player defensively that can stop the run and a player offensively that can move the ball on the ground because since once we celebrate Thanksgiving you've got to think ice and cold and strong winds and that's the kind of team I want to get me in the playoffs December team. Second and ten. As you look down from our MetLife clip. Good play action. Sims, though, did not fool. And a flag goes down. Cliff Odom. And Odom, as he made the tackle, apparently they're going to call intentionally grounding against Sims. Well, Shula got his uh, call. He had argued earlier. That Sims had dumped one off, and Jerry Mark Bright this time went into the pocket. Sims just a little Central late. grounding, number 11, offense. Just a little late, a down. throwing the ball. Third down. Tried to fake a counterplay the other way. You see it going the other way, and now he holds the ball to come outside. If he could have just delivered it early, just a little bit earlier, he might have had a play. That was uh, finally coming through with something that would make a difference by Odom. Cliff Odom, who was a plan B acquisition from the Indianapolis Colts. Bill Parcells, do you think he'll be a New York Giant coach next year at this time? I believe he will. Bill is a intelligent, obviously very intelligent, one of the best coaches in football, and he's struggling with all the stresses of being a coach, but I do believe he'll stay with it for another year. He has two years on his contract. There's Megan. that screen. In that open field, tough to corral, and he gets... Most of the penalty yardage back as he's down to the 40 yard line before Hobley and Cross can track him down. It'll be fourth and nine at the Miami 40. You know, Dick, when May gets in there, you almost have, have to have an athlete like him covering it. You can't leave it to a linebacker. It might look good on paper. Or even a safety man. You need a very quick, nimble man to get right on his hip. Because once he gets control of that ball, he outraces everything. And you know, we had him in our office day before the draft. They brought him in to me. And I thought to myself, how could this guy ever play football? You can't be serious. 5'7". Yeah. 175. And we watched in the draft and uh, sort of smiled when the Giants took him. And look what they've got. Fourth round pick that's really paid off. Landetta just touches one, but too hard for that strong leg of his. And... It'll be a 20 yard net for Landetta as Miami takes over on the 20 yard line as you look like at Dave Meggett. What a star he is. What a dimension he gives this team. Every team including the 49ers looking for their own Dave Meggett. Time out. Eclipses once appeared only in the heavens. But now eclipses are appearing on car and drivers 10 best list and automobile magazines all star list. Mitsubishi. The word is getting around. Today, a guy losing his hair can choose between being the man he wants to be. You look great with hair. Do something to save it. And the man he could become. Can't you accept nature like everyone else? Doctors have hair loss treatment programs that are proven to work. And the sooner you see a doctor, the better. We don't want nature. We want hair. When you considered the arguments. We might look great, bald. And you decide you want hair. There's only one thing to do. See your doctor. Or call this number for more information. In some ancient cultures, an eclipse called for a sacrifice. Today, it only calls for $10,959. Mitsubishi, the word is getting around. By 10 rolls of pig insulation, R13 or higher, to keep you warm indoors, and get a free NFL coach's sweater to keep you warm outdoors. Offer ends October 14th. My brother Tom needed one hand for his TV remote, one for his VCR. The other for my cable. Then he got this Magnavox Universal Remote. It's so smart, it controls the TV it came with, plus just about any other brand of wireless VCR and cable. Yeah, single-handed. If you see one movie this year, make it this one. Perhaps the most compelling drama about rape ever made. The story of a woman violated, then brought to trial by the man who attacked her. Veronica Hamill, Judd Hirsch, and Lee Grant in a world premiere movie. She said no on NBC Tonight. 
come back. Dolphins start at the 20 as you see the other scores. We'll give you the rest after this play. Play action. Marino deep for Duper and too tall at the 50. It's 10 3 here. Let's go to NFL Live. Dick, here's a play at the Astrodome where instant replay came into play. Billy Brooks at the back of the end zone receiving the pass from Jack Trudeau of the Colts. They checked it on replay and decided he did not get the second foot down. No touchdown. They settled for the field goal trail 14-3. Dick? All right, Bob. Of course, that's a carryover from last week when Chuck Knox and the Seattle Seahawks and their fans upset about a call that was not reversed. It's the Raiders that led to what could have been the difference in that game. Mark Logan has to struggle just to get a yard as he was hit in the backfield. Lawrence Taylor was the man destroying the play and Eric Howard finished it off. Eric Howard right down the middle on Ulenhake is is dominating. He is getting past that center virtually every time and getting in behind the ball carrier. You know Dick the first down play that was an incomplete pass. Those are the critical plays of a game. They, it, Miami had set it up and Marino overthrew it by about six inches. Those are the kind that make a difference in the ball game. Four wide out as Lawrence Taylor zeroes in. They pick him off. Screen to Jensen. Jensen is shy of the first down by a yard at the 29. The Giants talked about Jensen in the backfield coming out late. And that time they just wouldn't give him the room. Greg Jackson made the tackle. Another standing O for the defense. Reggie Roby will punt on fourth and one, apparently. Jensen, who's on all the special teams, is the up back. Really drives this one with a win to make it. And the 17, 30. Whoa! Ran into his own man at the 31 yard line. Gary Reasons blocking up field was a man who knocked Megat off his feet. Boy, does he have quickness. Let's uh, finish our scores on our 10 minute ticker. We'll go right from the top. Bears lead cut now to 13 9. Cincinnati off and running again. Cleveland by four. Dallas has tied the Redskins. Gee, not much scoring, Dick. It really is a contrast to a year ago. Maybe it's the shortening of the games, whatever it is. Such low scoring games all across the league. 10 to 3 here. Giants ball at their own 31. And it's Lewis Tillman spurting out for about six. The MetLife Blimp is one of the world's largest airships. It measures 194 feet long, 67 feet high, and floating up above to give us all those great overview shots on a terrific late September Sunday. Indeed, a woman this morning who was uh, cleaning the room said that winter isn't far away. Fall is today. She's already thinking winter. There's a little bite in the air. To the 38 39 yard line. He in college, his fraternity brothers gave Tillman a, an interesting nickname. He had a broken leg and he said, I was very shy, didn't like to talk. So, what was the moniker? That I think it was walkie talkie. <laughs> a broken <laughs> leg and no talkie. <laughs> walkie talkie. Now, he did uh, most of his conversing with some big numbers there at Jackson State. He just says he wants to keep drives going. We asked him about his style. He says, I like to think I'm a slasher or a cutback. But what I like to do is play 100% and keep drives going. And going, by the way, uh, Ron Earhart talked about 20 first downs would likely win this, and I guess the Giants are getting rather close to it. 11 at halftime. Final seconds, third quarter. Tillman again. That second effort, he may have gotten the first down. That will be the last play of the third quarter. Oglesby got him down. There's the gun to end the third period. We'll check to see on the measurement first on. First, these words from your local station. 
Saturday Night Live, where the biggest stars in show business work for scale. The new season premieres Saturday with Kyle MacLachlan and Sinead O'Connor. Oldsmobile's year-end closeout hits the Red River Valley with a windfall of year-end savings. Make your best deal on Cutlass Supreme. Then take up to an additional $2,600 off in cash back. Make a deal on Cutlass Sierra today. Then get up to $2,600 cash back. Drive the Valley's favorite 88 Royale and get up to $1,500 cash back while supplies last. And remember, every new Oldsmobile comes with The Edge. Absolutely free. Plus, your trade-in is now worth more when you buy a new Oldsmobile. Oldsmobile's year-end closeout while supplies last. Hurry to your Valley Olds dealer today. Of course, you've always wanted to be a millionaire. Well, your truck has come in in McDonald's McMillions on NBC. We're giving away a million bucks a day for 28 days in a row. And if nobody wins one day, the cash rolls over to the next. Kind of a nice feature. Now, you just go to McDonald's for a ticket every day. Watch NBC every night, and you could win. So drop in, tune in, and cash out in McMillions on NBC. Ask for guaranteed heating for some very special attention, including a guaranteed heating rate and your very own repairman. Guaranteed heating from your electric cooperative, one of the Minn Kota power systems. It's the peace of mind you've been looking for. Guaranteed heating means your electric cooperative will service your electric heating system 24 hours a day, seven days a week, for up to 15 years. Guaranteed heating, only from your electric cooperative, one of the Minn Kota power systems. Challengers, weekdays at 3.30 on KTHI 11. Stand at their own 41-yard line. Uh, available in their bookstores this week is uh, Bill Walsh's copy of Building a Champion. Any coach or, uh, well, I know all the NFL coaches we talked to said they have their own copy. But I'm intrigued by the fact you always had the headset on. A man like Shula doesn't wear. What goes on? Are they telling you? I mean, here you were the genius. Are your coaches oh, really please. the ones calling the please, plays? Uh, no, I, well, I think each, each organization is different. Don doesn't need that. Uh, he has helped John Sandusky right with him, getting all the information he needs. Some coaches use a lot of it. They're getting direction from up above. In my case, it was exchanging all the time, getting the facts that I need to make the next call. What kinds of, inf well, after this play, kinds of information are you looking for? First down, start the fourth quarter. Giants with a 10-3 lead. And the toss to Tillman. Good, hard running of about five. What kind of information were you looking for from upstairs? The first thing I needed to know it was exactly where the ball was and exactly how many yards we needed for a first down. From that point, we went to the categories of plays as to the situation. It was third down and one yard to go. I, we would remind each other what we had listed on our sheets. Uh, then, of course, there were all kinds of things between Sirius, such as the pass coverage they were using and what we'd anticipated, things of that nature. Second and five, Tillman with flags down. If uh, it's against the Giants, it'll nullify a first down, some hard running. So how often would somebody upstairs says, hey, Bill, I think you ought to run the trap right here. This is the time. Would that ever happen? No, no loose talk other than a few swear words that came out, you know, instinctively <laughs> with an ING after them all the time. Uh, holding, holding number 65, number 65 offense. offense third Second holding down. call of the game the first on Bart Oates of the Giants so you're actually looking for information where the ball is you're you're looking hit to the next play and you call a play and it's just uh, people well, upstairs reminding you of uh, well Dick you had four people on that same phone and when asked or when expected they would have their input in my case it might have been Bob McKittrick might have been Mike Holmgren or Danny Green and they had their input, but it had to be run from a central source. And in our case, it happened to be me. Now, some clubs, a uh, play is relayed from upstairs, right down to the sideline, and repeated. Well, whatever was relayed down <laughs> between Bill Parcells and his staff and out to Phil Sims didn't agree with the quarterback. He and Parcells will talk it over. A timeout with 14 minutes left here at Giant Stadium. This is a full timeout. No matter where you look, there's Mazda. We're introducing new products like the Miata, setting new sales records, winning the respect of the automotive press, and winning awards for both quality and customer satisfaction. But most important, we're making thousands of people feel just right. 
Okay, here we go. Where I'd move if I were you. I'm going to throw one. <laughs> wait, well, I wait. saw one. Well, hold on. He's also got Oh, he's got another. He's got another dart. Well, then go ahead. Take I'd like turn. to throw one backwards. Can you clear the room? Hold on, but it's Anybody have stock? Well. Anybody take well. stock? Anybody stocky? Let's play dark. <laughs> <laughs> Levi's 100% cotton dockers. If they're not dockers, they're just pants. Oh, there we go. Count it. So is what is that? You spangling participle. You have to. Hey, that'll it. be enough of that kind of talk. Didn't you just yawn in my face? <laughs> <laughs> the airline that brings you ten countries across Asia and the Pacific now bridges the Atlantic to Europe. It flights to Frankfurt and to Paris. Come fly the airline that spans more than half the world. United. Come fly the friendly skies. The Dolphins of the 70s were a running team and they won two Super Bowls. In the 80s, that running game disappeared, at least uh, in the eyes of Don Shula. That's why he's played the first two games of this year, 153 yards rushing. But today, just 16 against this Giant defense. Giants with 83. And they look at second and 16. Powell between Sims and Parcells. A long ball to Bavaro, and he almost made the catch. What an effort by Bavaro. No catch, but what a try. He had excellent coverage on him down the field. Odom was right with him, hip to hip, and it took a perfect throw, and Sims almost made it. The troublesome part is what you'll see there. See all the time that Sims has. Right over the top, very good coverage two fine athletes going for a ball. The troublesome part of this is that the Sims is getting all the time he needs and there again is all well nearly the perfect play. What a target at 6'4 and 245 and of course he had his big Super Bowl moment. Third and 16. Again not much pressure down the seam again incomplete to Odessa Turner. Well, they tried the wide receiver splitting that deep seam. Rodney Thomas on the coverage. Good pass blocking. Line stunts up front. You see all that cushion that Sim steps in, up into. Now that is an excellent combination. Tough passes to complete because you're throwing to a running target moving directly away from you. Landetta's high punt caught by Martin. Running the wrong way. The veteran linebacker with a tackle. Now the Dolphins deep in their own end, another timeout. Wouldn't it be great if suddenly you were in charge of the annual swimsuit issue, deciding things like how the models pose and who gets the cover? And wouldn't it be great if the models brought beer? Really great beer, like Keystone, the fresh cold filtered beer in a can that tastes like beer in a bottle because of Keystone's specially lined can. And wouldn't it be great if later that day you all went bowling? Introducing Keystone and Keystone Light, bottled beer taste in a can. Wouldn't that be great? He stirs in the land of dawning. He stirs now in the age of wandering. Now on the trail of beauty, he stirs. The new Navajo from Mazda. It just feels right. Marcy, a priceless drop. Rare and illegal. Where did you say you were from? He'll kill your people by the thousands to get it. I come in peace. You must stop him. What are you gonna do? Tell him we're fighting drug dealers from outer space? Hold it over. I come in peace. Dolph Lundgren. And you go in pieces. I come in peace. Rated R. Starts Friday, September 28th at a theater near you. NBC Sports coverage of the National Football League is brought to you by Keystone and Keystone Light. Bottled beer taste in a can. Wouldn't that be great? By State Farm Insurance. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. And by Mazda Cars and Trucks. Mazda, it just feels right. Moreno and the Dolphins start at the 11. Sammy Smith. That's 
his best effort of the day for Smith, who opened the game with 215 yards rushing in his first two games to lead the league. It takes two guys to take Taylor, and I'm sure they planned it that way. He's sitting outside the two people pushing him off the field and back, and uh, you've got Page, an excellent blocker, and finally Taylor does get moved back. That's the most successful running play they have had all day. Five carries for Smith, six yards total today. Second and three. Smith again runs into his own blockers and then squirts forward for a first down. Uh oh, oh boy. Flag goes down and uh, from deep in the defensive backfield usually means a tight end holding. When you get to that fourth quarter and you haven't been able to sustain anything, any holding penalty like this naturally can be disastrous. It'll come down to just two or three Holy plays. Boy. Number 80, offense. It'll come down Second to just down. two or three plays, Dick. Miami will have to get a big chunk of yardage. They're not going to get it driving, even though they can pull off a five or six yard running play here and there. They've got to get one big pass play to get close. Instead of a first down, it's marked all the way back inside the 10 yard line. Second and 13, and this is where the Giants love to tee off, and they're being spurred on. This crowd of 77,186. of the ball and both feet down. Let's take a look. Yep. Tough to tell there. He certainly didn't have it long, did he? Bill Parcells, in reference to Lawrence Taylor, relentless, explosive. But what I what I noted, he said he blocks out pain, blocks it out. Fans, of course, reacting as they want the Giants with the ball at that 10-yard line. Savvy fans here at Giants Stadium understand that why the delay at this point is because it is being reviewed upstairs. But there's an intuitive sense about the great player, the Ronnie Lott as an example, or the Lawrence Taylor. It's almost nonverbal. They have a sense for the game. We saw him pass rush, turn and run to the receiver, and be heads up for the football. Almost like he's on the field by himself. They're allowed two minutes this year, or so that is the rule imposed on themselves. Here's another look. Just tough to see whether he ever had the ball. It just was in and out of his hand so quickly. Yeah, another thing has happened to the officials, and not many folks comment about it, but you don't see that decisive call anymore. The official on the spot never made a call, and it's almost wondering, well, I'm not so sure. Let's wait and let the instant replay decide. And it's, uh, it's tougher for them. I, I think the old school would like to be able to say, hey, let me call it. I may make a mistake now and then, but... Uh... After further review, the play stands as called. Completion... Fumble and recovery. First down. Just outside the 10-yard line, the Giants with a 10-3 lead and get a big turnover. I'd have to give that, other than Taylor and the coverage, I would have to say the way that they've designed their pass coverage to play this Miami offense, 
Marino had nowhere to throw that ball until very late, and we saw the result. Maurice Carthen gets half of those 10 yards. His idol was Jim Braxton, the former Buffalo blocking back for O.J. Simpson. Juice will remember how many extra yards made Juice a lot of money with all those big blocks at, uh, at Buffalo, and Carthen loves to clear the way for his backs here with the Giants. I hope they I treat him better than Juice did. <laughs> Give Braxton a free meal now and then. Doc, nah, come on. You keep getting on over. I have a pair of shoes now and then. Second and five. Anderson one or two yards well they've stuck with their ground game inside the 10 you almost have a feeling this is the time where they're going to do a little roll or a pass well three points in a sense would ice the game for them. that doesn't mean that Marino can't come back and make some things happen but to get beyond the touchdown lead with the way Miami is pass protecting and playing defense it would probably settle the issue actually officially third and two for a first down three for a touchdown Got 18. Anderson again to the one he has to be almost to the goal line for a first down Indication from the sidelines from Parcells that he's going to go for a field goal. It's going to be shy of a first down, obviously, spotted right on the one. Well, they are going to miss it. Well, it's so close to the first down. If they could just get the nose of the ball past the line of scrimmage, they'd have it on a fourth down. Yeah, when the series began, the ball was just barely outside the 10. Unless something went terribly wrong, this should be almost uh, to the goal line to get a first down. So it is that far. Well, they're not going to go for the three that would give them the 10 point lead. So this really is the game. A touchdown, the way the giant defense is playing. And Miami might well be out of it. But should the Dolphins rise up and stop them here, they stay within a touchdown of a tie. You just have to gamble defensively. You can't expect to cover every possibility. You've got to figure that Sims is going to sneak it or Anderson's going to take it and you've just got to attack the line of scrimmage and hope for the best. Anderson. Touchdown. They ran it off the weak side of the formation. And Anderson's power got him the last half yard for the score. If there's a single dominant factor in this game, it's the offensive line of the Giants. Uh, Riesenberg and Moore, in that case, handled their man beautifully. And that's been the difference, the offensive line. Legre adds the extra point. And the fumble recovery by Taylor at the 10 turns into seven points for the Giants. You'll see the ball snap and that giant offensive line get off on the ball. Then Anderson's experience and savvy in slipping between people. John Shula watching from the sidelines, rooting for that rebuild defense. Not enough. Well, the Parcells is looking at this, and, and uh, the difference between the two teams is the physical part of it. And in this case, the offensive line throughout the day has done just marginally better than Miami's defense, and the four-yard gain becomes a five-yard gain. The one-yard gain becomes a three-yard gain. Before you know it, uh, it's just like a battle of attrition. The Giants just control the ball game toward the end. We have the line of scrimmage both ways. That goes to the Giants today, and that's just what Parcells wants from this team. 
that's going to be a factor for the Giants. Obviously, well constructed, solid, veteran, good mix with youngsters. They feel Hampton will become more of a factor offensively. Allegra kicks out right out of the end zone. Now Miami starts from the 20. Now that last series was just a bad from the start. Martin ran the wrong way with the punt. They tackled him back inside the 15. As you look at the 10 minute ticker. Bears up by a touchdown against Minnesota. Boy, the Bears defense. They've only allowed one touchdown in three weeks. San Diego has jumped in front of Cleveland. Battle of uh, those looking for a first win, Houston and Indianapolis. And New Orleans looking for a victory. Has a 14-7 lead. And now it really gets tough for Marino. 9.59 left, trailing 17-3. One-handed catch by Mark Duper. And out of bounds he goes. No, nope, they mark him down at the 33. Let's go back, take another look at uh, the fumble that set up the touchdown and Lawrence Taylor, how he's all over the field. He's hammering into the line of scrimmage. Look at his effort level. He reacts to Marino's first move, then sprints to the outside. See that ball, and he's so heads up, right in position to get it. Now, by and large, even the best player would still be back on the other side of the field looking to see what happens. There hasn't been a lot of thunder and lightning thus far as we talked earlier. Flag goes down and the catch is no good. He trapped a Detroit Stratford. Let's go to NFL Live in New York. All right, Dick, you may recall that earlier in the game, Billy Joe Tolliver was intercepted by the Browns' Mike Johnson, who brought it back for a touchdown. But Tolliver rebounds and rifles his second touchdown pass to Anthony Miller, one of the best young receivers in the game. So that combination has brought the Chargers back. Upset-minded, they lead at Cleveland 17-14 late in the third. Dick? Of course, Bob, the trouble with the Chargers, they've been in so many games last year and this into the fourth quarter with a lead and unable to hold it. But, boy, you're so right. Anthony Miller is one of the real budding big stars of the NFL. He is terrific. Locked out there in San Diego. A lot of folks back here in the East don't know much about him, but he is the real McCoy. After the holding call, Marino rolling to get room and throwing it downfield. He has a man open, but the throw is shy. Duper has seized Guyton lateral. Guyton to Walls. Walls to the 40. And out of bounds at the 26. Tony Martin was open a couple of steps deep, but against the win, Marino's arm didn't get it there, and Guyton intercepted, and they had a little razzle-dazzle. You see him open deep. The ball is just underthrown, and Marino had every reason to be able to throw that every chance because he had his feet up underneath him throwing the ball. It just either the wind caught it or something, but it suddenly began to flutter, fell short, and you see the result. For the first time, he had Marino with good protection. He rolled out, had a chance for the big play, and couldn't get it done this week. Now at the 27, 40 yards on the return by Everson Walls. Tillman in the backfield by David Briggs. Told you that his brother Billy a tight end with the New York Jets. David was a seventh round pick by New Orleans last year and acquired by Miami and was on the developmental squad. Now it's a matter of just taking that clock as far down as you can take it and just hammering it to Miami. And Don uh, Shula was concerned in the last few years, especially last year, his defense fading in the fourth quarter. And uh, I'm sure they all, when they can look at the films tomorrow, anticipate them holding up, establishing themselves, win or lose, establish yourself right now. Tillman again on second and ten. It's three or four, and a flag goes down. Well, we hope you stay tuned tonight on NBC for two outstanding movies, and then Monday night, Tomorrow, you can become a millionaire. Pick up an NBC McMillions game card at your nearest McDonald's. Watch the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. If your number matches the numbers revealed during the show, you can become a millionaire. So watch the Fresh Prince of Bel Air tomorrow night for the kickoff of McMillions on NBC.
Bavaro with the hold. Happy faces. There's Cubby Walls, his mother's nickname to Everson, a little old for that. He's no, no, Mama still calls me Cubby. He's got a restaurant down there in Dallas now with Tony Dorsett and uh, Eugene Lockhart. They call it the Cowboy Cafe. Very, very unique guy. Here, here, of course, here's uh, LT, one of the great ones of all time. But Walls, uh, was he? He's got ice on that arm, on that elbow. I think he'll be fine the rest of the day. Coleman. After the penalty, they stay on the ground to the 30. No need to gamble. Put it in the air. It's a fairly conservative offense, uh, the Giants, and they have the team built for it. Well, you add a Walls to people like uh, Taylor and, and Banks. Walls' experience can really help out, especially late in the year. Uh, they'll put him on the best receiver. Uh, he'll play soft and deep in the zone and probably the best interception man uh, the game has seen in a long time. Well over 40 interceptions as a cornerback. Rarely do you see that. Third and 13 for Sims. Make it with him in the backfield. And he gets it to make it. He gets off the blocks. He, you know, there are just some athletes that are wonderful to watch run, and Megat's one of those. The way he gets those feet moving. Short of the first down. And in comes Allegra to try a field goal that would move the Giants up to 20 to 3. You'll see people as fast as Megat to uh, not playing nearly as well or not even making it in the NFL, but Megat explodes wherever he goes. Full bore, speed, and doesn't concern himself with the hazards involved. That's why he'll explode through a hole that a lot of people would be very tentative about. Legre started the scoring today with a short one, 23 yards, and now from 40. This one is no good. So that's his first miss of the season. Three for four for Allegri. It stays 17-3. Somewhere before? The Mazda Miata. It just feels right. There's a new attitude at Northwest Airlines, a new dedication to service. You can see it in our on-time performance, the best of the top seven U.S. airlines. That's our commitment, to make sure you're on time for your commitments. Mr. Three-Point Shooter used to miss three points on his face till I got him to shave with a slim twin disposable. It has a narrow head. Just like our little brother Mike. <laughs> so you can shave hard to reach places. It's got a special bar to keep the blades clean. The Slim Twin Disposable from Chic. By 10 rolls of pink insulation, R13 or higher, to keep you warm indoors and get a free NFL coach's sweater to keep you warm outdoors. Offer ends October 14th. Attenzione. Cos'è questa cosa qua? It's the new Canon Futura. With futuristic flash and long-range power zoom lens. The new Futura from Canon. So advanced, it's simple. Monday, three, three, three wheels in one. Sensitive. Hormones to will, hormones to will. Sincere. Oh gosh, sir, there's a big question mark on that one. Move. You're very, you're very, you're very, you're very, you're very. Three, three, three faces of will. Fresh, fresh, fresh prints on NBC Monday. Otis Anderson tucking away a football. That one means something to him. This last yards gives him 49 today. And that moves him past Earl Campbell into eighth place all time in NFL rushing. Man who broke most of Chuck Foreman's rushing records at the University of Miami. Now number eight all time. Approaching 10,000 in his career as a pro. Underneath the mark Clayton. Clayton across the 30 to the 33 yard line. For the first time uh, the Giants rushed three people and are softening their coverage. Marino should get some completions underneath but get anything done unless he's way down the field. Jim Jensen on a screen, but the ball too low from Marino and Lawrence Taylor and Leonard Marshall putting on the heat. 
Jim just hasn't looked good to be honest with you. He had two screen opportunities that looked like he was waiting for somebody to hit him as the ball was coming. And that's just not Jensen because he's been one of the toughest guys. Crash Jensen in the league as a special teams player. Just not him. They got to do better than that. He'll know it when he's on his way home. Tonight. Third down and one. Are down as even in the middle of the field, the Dolphins having trouble picking up a yard or two against that tenacious giant defense. You'd, you'd think he'd run to his left. Maybe they're trying to run away from Taylor, but with Webb and Sims, the two massive rookies on the left, they still ran right. Offside, number 56, defense lined up in the neutral zone. First down. They're just staying away from Taylor, Dick. That's all there is to it. They want nothing to do with him. I don't blame him. <laughs> LT, his son, uh, is a young aspiring football player trying to follow in his dad's footsteps. He's just eight years old. We get a chance. Uh, one of the mothers uh, filming the Pee Wee League. Caught him scoring his first touchdown in the first game. Three people rushing. Taylor on. There's the first sack of the year allowed by Miami as Marino goes down, Taylor and Marshall. It looked as though initially that Taylor was well blocked, but Marino had to move to avoid Howard, and that, in a sense, created all kind of turmoil. You see Taylor coming here and being reasonably well blocked, but Howard forcing in here with, a, with confusion and uh, Marino had really nowhere to go, just a lot of bodies. You see him moving around through people, getting knocked down. Way back, and Marino throws out of bounds. Well covered was Mark Duper on that second and 17 attempt. Renee Thompson on the coverage. Oh, I've seen a lot of Marino games and some brilliant ones. Over 500 yards against the Jets a couple of years ago. Many four touchdown games. In fact, he's only one shy of Johnny Unitas's record, but. Not many days like this for Dan Marino. The Giants have really slammed the door on him. Bill Belichick, the defensive coordinator, deserves credit for a lot of this. Just the style. And of course, talent-wise, they've got people coming up that field relentlessly. And Dan's thrown the ball early, and his timing's been bad. Trailing 17 to 3, trying to come up with something big. Just does elude the rush and throw. Almost intercepted. It was Renee Thompson again. The offensive line was collapsed. They got a blitz, and uh, Banks was with Jensen trying to block him. It just wasn't enough. We'll see this coming up the field. And Jensen trying to come up, and he can't quite get the job done. Banks just takes him apart. And then Marino throwing while being hounded, and the ball didn't have much on it. Thompson almost intercepted. Roby's punt to make it at the 30. And he picks up nine after the 39 before Jensen can make the tackle, along with Mark Logan. 39 yard punt, nine yards on the return. Lawrence Taylor. Well, he may be on the backside of the mountain, but for many, uh, players they'd like to be just close to where he is in their prime. Well they also they complement each other with Banks and Johnson and Taylor. They've got a group of people that attack Elliott. This is one of the best defenses in football. And Don Shula hoping just hoping against hope that his team has matured enough and developed enough to play equal to these guys and they're just not ready yet. Well, I guess when you go back to Thunder and Lightning, we have heard some rumbles now from Lawrence Taylor at the end, but on such a beautiful day, no sparks, no lightning from Dan Marino on the other sidelines. Taylor, what did uh, Parcell say? There's uh, Marino now, a spectator, wondering, maybe already thinking about next week, that uh, it is his competitiveness. I, I, as a coach, he said, just you love to have a guy that's a great player, but he's just so competitive. And we saw that in, on the fumble recovery, didn't we? We did. And, and also, the best players are personality characters, but they're guys that believe in each other and that work hard. With Banks and Taylor and all of these guys, they work hard. They're not only great players, they set the example. Here's Otis Anderson, straight ahead to the 45. 
for Williams and Oliver, the safety men can bring him down. You know, Don Shula, I'm sure, is looking for that ultimate George Hallis win record. And this is not this is not uh, something you can predict him getting it very easily because this Miami team is still most likely a year or two away. They, they may be able to win their division, but he still needs better and more personnel. And it's going to take another full year to get into the Giants category. Well, but he doesn't have to play the Giants of the league every week. He gets to go back to the AFC where obviously the competition isn't quite the same. He won't be running into many Giant defenses over that AFC East. So OJ again. Notice with flags flying. Gets to the 40-yard line. Well, uh, you said that the Giants at the start, if they get around 20 first downs, It'll be their game and they have 16 and we're going for 17 as apparently that one's going to be called back and uh, we have Holding Sean Lee. Number 65, number 65 offense, offense first, down. first down. Sean Lee limping off for Miami. That's well, the second on Oates today. Dick you combine the first downs with there aren't 16 isn't that many but it's the defense for the Giants also in sort of an ineptness on the part of the Miami offense and this is what they expected this week they thought they've come alive so this is a setback now, I'm sure that Don Shula the truly great coach that he is will get this team back in sync again they'll learn their lessons and uh, this is sort of an early barometer of uh, where how far they've come next week at Pittsburgh Miami the rematch with Dallas Anderson second effort breaking out of the grasp of Offerdahl tripped him up but uh, Anderson got an extra three out to the 50. That iron jawed leader of the Dolphins has a three year contract three more years he needs 39 more to pass Hallis all time. Liberty Mutual Insurance presents Legends of the Game. He was the MVP in the 1962 NFL Championship game, although he looked more like a college professor than a middle linebacker. His studious appearance belied a terrifying presence on the field. The first of Lombardi's defensive players elected to the Hall of Fame. Who was this legend? Liberty Mutual presents the automobile accident that never happened because we continually... 17-3 Giants, and other than a long field goal by Pete Stojanovic of 51 yards on the opening series to start this second half, Miami really shut down their offense. Uh, giant defense has overpowered them, and on the offensive end, uh, the Giants line beating the Dolphins to the punch. Here's Anderson darting to the 47-yard line on second and 15. Cliff Odom with the tackle. You know, Timeout called Miami. Second charge time up. 2.46 left. Two touchdown lead, New York. Heard from an old student. Mm. Remember Brian McKenna? Smart kid. Good ball player. Great hands. Where's he going to college? He's not. Oh, too bad. Studying aviation electronics. But you said in the Navy, then college. The Navy College Fund and Montgomery GI Bill. Over $25,000 for your college education. You and the Navy. Like I said, smart kid. Full speed ahead. Otis Anderson trying to go for the trifecta. Rush for 1,000 yards in three decades. His rookie year got him the NFL Rookie of the Year 1,600. Five times in the 80s he rushed for 1,000. He has 71 today. He will be rested now, apparently, on this third and 13, so it's in time. Wide open. Lionel Manuel. First down at the 28-yard line. Sims again, well protected. Well, a three-man rush. And Miami not going after him. And uh, I would think if they had it to do, they'd just sell out blitz to try to stop them because the game's slipping totally away from them now. There's no use sitting back in a prevent defense. And the Dolphins spend their final timeout with 2.21 to go. Time to go, boys. You've been in there long enough. Hey, when 
not even tired. I feel good. Though I've checked the mileage, Andy. Hey, we're the auto lights. We're guaranteed. Guaranteed. I feel good. Yeah, two years, no matter how far we go. But no spark plug guarantees that. We do. So good. Yeah, we're the auto lights. I... So go pull the plug on somebody else. Wow. Okay. Giants in total command from the opening kickoff. 17 to 3 with 2 minutes and 21 seconds to go. And uh, thoughts on a job well done on this Sunday and a 3-0 start for the Giants. The reading three-man line that Miami plays just can't stand up for this Giant offense. The Giant offense is just too strong, too big, too physical. Anderson, who is so sure-handed, Offerdahl makes the tackle, and that's why uh, Bill Parcells apparently is not using some of his younger backs. He wants a man that's reliable, doesn't fumble, and he'll take it down to the two-minute timeout. Just the way he planned it, Bill Parcells. It went just according to the game plan. 17-3, two minutes to go. Liberty Mutual Insurance presents Legends of the Game. He was the MVP in the 1962 NFL Championship game, although he looked more like a college professor than a middle linebacker. His studious appearance belied a terrifying presence on the field. The first of Lombardi's defensive players elected to the Hall of Fame. Who was this legend? Liberty Mutual presents the automobile accident that never happened because we continually work to prevent auto accidents and injuries. In helping to pioneer safety belts, Liberty Mutual Insurance helped make driving safer for everyone. Caring for people is why America believes in liberty. Almost home. America believes in liberty. Liberty Mutual Insurance. Ray Nitschke set a standard so high that he was named the greatest linebacker in NFL history, a true legend of the game. For naming the Mazda MPV best in class, we'd like to thank Car and Driver. For ranking it the most trouble-free minivan, J.D. Power & Associates. For naming it one of the top ten import buys, Motor Trend. And for making the Mazda MPV the best-selling import minivan, we'd like to thank the Abbots. The Ackermans, the Adesheks, the Aggermans. Mazda, it just feels right. The Altons, the Ammermans, the Anders. Lawrence Taylor reacting as the crowd does to a score on the big board here at Giant Stadium. The Bears now have been tied at 16 all. Redskins have moved ahead 19 to 6. We get all the scores and top plays of the NFL Live game, gang. So uh, stay with us right after the final gun. And after this play, we'll show you another Taylor running big. From the Dolphin 27, Anderson wrapped up by Jarvis Williams. Flag goes down. Well, uh, this is uh, one of the parents in the Pee Wee League over there here in New Jersey where Lawrence Taylor's son TJ plays. That's TJ now who's rolling out here with a ball. He gets the first down here. Now, here he is running in the first game of the year for a touchdown. T.J. Taylor, Lawrence Taylor's son. Watch the high five. He's as tough as his dad. Boom, <laughs> knocks, knocks his teammate over. So T.J. Taylor, aggressive as his father is and competitive. <laughs> They're cute, aren't they? Well, penalty on the Giants. It's third and 13. Blitzing everybody they've got just to try to stop this thing. Anderson straight ahead and stopped at the 28 yard line. And uh, see if Bill Parcells just runs it out. No, he's going to bring on Allegre for a field goal. Well, in evaluating this Miami team, two and one is certainly not bad, especially in their division. There have been some improvements. But I was disappointed in the passing game. Now, maybe they've given so much time to the running, and rightfully so, but Marino, Dan wasn't as sharp. His receivers were not as active, and the pass protection pushed too far into Dan, so he was throwing off his back, back foot all day. Now, there aren't many defenses like the Giants, 
but to get to the championship level, Miami has some real strides they have to make. 45-yard attempt, Allegre. And it is good. So Allegre, two for three today. And the Giants lead builds to 20 to three. Stojanovic having only a one and uh, he made his 51 yard attempt. Our thanks to our entire NBC team, executive producer Terry O'Neill, our coordinating producer John Ferratzis, Dolphins Giants game directed by John Gonzalez, associate director John McGinnis, production associate Carol Larson, technical director and manager Bill Perinello, all the rest of the men and women who brought you the sights and sounds from Giants Stadium and Terrific football day, and especially if you're a Giants fan. And in the booth, our thanks to Elliot Kalb, Mike Alber, Frank Zerkowski, and our friend Joe Costanza as well. Well, I'm sure Dorothy Shule is watching and has some ideas for Don when he gets home. Uh, what a great family, a great sports and football family. And uh, we give her our love. And I'm sure she'll have ideas for this guy, and, uh, and he'll bring them right back next week. Kick by Allegra, just barely punched that one. It goes all the way to the goal line and uh, into the end zone and a touchback. Now she's got a couple of budding coaches, head coaches as well, both the uh, sons, Mike and David. Mike at Tampa Bay, David at uh, Dallas, are assistant coaches in the NFL at a very uh, young age. Here's another look at the ticker. Minnesota tying the Bears. Cincinnati running away from New England. San Diego builds its lead to 10. Well, maybe they'll hang on this week in the fourth. Houston ahead by seven. New Orleans builds its lead to two touchdowns. New, touch, new uh, quarterback for Miami, Scott Secules, number nine, a three-year veteran from Virginia, drafted by Dallas and acquired last year by the Dolphins for a number five pick. No passes thrown thus far this year. And in his three years, he's thrown only 50. Playing behind Marino, you're not going to get much work. There's his first throw and a completion out to Tony Martin. Telecast is presented by authority of the National Football League intended for the private use of our audience any rebroadcast or other use of this telecast without the express written consent of the New York Giants and the National Football League is prohibited. Seekules takes off behind Jensen gives Jensen a little push and drives it out to the 39 yard line. Finally hit from behind by Mike Fox number two draft pick from West Virginia. Giants are not too deep coverage that's unique to them. Ezekiel hit from behind by Lawrence Taylor as he throws to Jim Jensen, complete out at the 43-yard line. Banks makes the tackle. 15 seconds showing on the clock. Timeout is called on a penalty, apparently. In the grasp. No, they're saying now incomplete pass. Incomplete is the call. The giant defense with two deep safeties and then a number of people across the front with most often three men rushing is unique to them but they've really made it work. Well Bill we saw the Bears in their opener two weekends ago and they impressed us with their defense and the Giants boy that's uh, this is a defense that you're going to have to be very very good and physical up front on that offensive line to beat this giant club. No question and Marino had a couple of chances down the field might have helped out but just missed them. And against this team, you can't just miss. You only get a few shots. Yeah, but that's like the horse turning for home that rallies and just <laughs> finishes fifth, but yeah. uh, eight lengths back. It's the Giants' day, and they're going to finish it up. Ezekiel's throws an underhanded pass to Jensen, and Jensen gets to the 47-yard line. Lawrence Taylor limping at the end of that play. He's grabbing the back of his leg, so we'll just have to see. That's where a hamstring is pulled. But he was fatigued on the sideline. Then Cole had to go back in the game. Here is that final play effort by Taylor. He saw his uh, right leg give away a little bit there. He may have pulled it just a little bit. And uh, that certainly would end the, the day on a negative note, depending on its seriousness. Bavero, however, injured early, came back. Taylor, well, they say just a little spit in that, rub it on that leg, yeah. and he'll be ready to go next week. So the Giants are 3 and 0 and impressively, well maybe more serious than we thought. 20 to 3. Let's go to Bob Costas.
All right, Dick, so the Giants take their record to 3-0 and drop the Dolphins to 2-1. When we come back, I'll be joined by Will McDonough and O.J. Simpson. We'll give you all the scores, some of the highlights, take a look ahead to the 4 o'clock games, and we'll also have